the players have reported hundreds of strange, terrifying stories in their worlds. Normally, it's just one glitch or one myth, but this seed is different. There are multiple entities, unnatural structures, and somehow they're all connected. But why? I've been studying it in survival mode for over six years to figure that out. So yes, the graphics and editing are going to start off bad. And I'm going to look like a child because I started recording this all the way back in 2018. But this is by far the scariest Minecraft myth. And you need to know the truth. I loaded into this new world in survival and I began collecting resources. So guys, while I'm digging up this wood, I want to run you guys through what's going on with this world. So here is what we know. This seed is known for the scientist. The scientist was created in the beta days of Minecraft. This mob was known for testing and modifying other mobs. Notch, the creator of Minecraft, basically said, nope, this is too dangerous. Other players are gonna get hurt. So he outlawed this mob to only ever exist in this seed. So, these scientists began to do tests on the villagers here. Very little was known about the scientist. This notch removed all notes and references to its creation. And the village that he was testing was this one, right here. As you can see, it is now a zombie abandoned village, which is super strange and super weird. So whatever he was doing clearly did not go to plan. The theory was that one of his experiments went horribly wrong, leading to his disappearance. So we're here to investigate the truth. Vanished, never to be seen again, guys. Some people say his ghost still haunts this world and that village to this day, I reckon he could still be alive, but I guess we'll find out. I started looking for a place to set up a small base nearby. Once I found the perfect spot, I completed my makeshift setup just as it became night. My curiosity peaked. I began to make my way to the village to begin looking around for any evidence I could find. No way, are these graves? Wait. That is a cross right next to this house. Um, we'll have a look in here because this is right next to that cross here. Is there anything in here? Just some cobwebs, all right, nah, nah. And then there's this little house down here. I wouldn't expect anything to be in here. Not nothing. We got some carpet, not much to be honest. There's a torch there. Nothing super strange about that to be honest. I mean, is that any different from any other houses? There's no carpet in this house. Wait, are, do carpets spawn naturally in villages normally or is this just another? There's no carpet in this one. This is the same kind of house as that little square thing. There's no carpet here. All right, here's the carpet. We'll destroy this. All right, nothing. Yeah, nothing really strange. Dude, what? With the hidden path now revealed, I felt something chilling going down my spine. But I was about to uncover something huge at the bottom of this tunnel. We're going down, we're going down, we're going down. But there's light down there. Look, I don't even know where that light's coming from. There's no torches or anything. What could be down here, guys? Oh, okay, so the light isn't completely emitting. There's just a redstone torch hanging there. Oh, there's more light down there, guys. No, 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 okay, no, I'm- I retreated temporarily so that I could gather more resources and craft more armor and tools and so that I was prepared for whatever was waiting for me at the end of the cave. And then I returned the next day. Look at that, there are vines. This place has been abandoned for a long time. There's even cobwebs. It looks like some kind of lab. Maybe, maybe this could be where the scientist did his experiments underground here. This look, place looks pretty deserted. So I mean, considering the theory that the scientist had to leave and something went really wrong, could be the case because there are vines everywhere here. and There's almost no light. It's as if like all the electricity went out, but there is something, there is some light down there and there is definitely some redstone that's activated down there. That is super strange. Come down slowly guys. Let's have a look in this chair. Ooh, hello, golden apples. I like it. There is this, also this enchanted book. Wait a minute. That's not an enchanted day 396 to 399 by Anonymous. What is this? I don't like this. Let's just have a look at this book. Okay, let's open this. Day 396. 
Oh my gosh, is this some sort of journal? This could be the journal of the scientist. Here we go, day 399. We are experiencing catastrophic failure. I'm shutting this lab down. Oh my gosh, guys, what? This is only day 396 to day 399. Maybe there might be more journals in the cave system further down that we might be able to find. You know, actually, no, we'll keep it. We keep it. I don't think there'll be any problem with our keepers. I really hope the ghost of the scientist isn't still holding this lab. All right, so let's come around here. Test subject one. Oh my gosh. And look, the redstone's connecting into him. It's a zombie villager. Check the journal real fast here, guys. Here we go. Putting test subjects into permanently, whatever happened, it didn't work because the redstone is still activated. The test subjects turn into a, a zombie. As you can see, the levers kind of flicked up here. Let's have a look. Test subject number one, test subject number two. This guy's also turned into a zombie and the redstone's still activating him. Let's have a look. Test subject number three. What? This one looks really different. Wait, 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 wait. This one made it through permanently? But what is that? He's got like this black thing on the side of him. Something clearly went wrong in one of the experiments the scientist was doing because that uh, he looks corrupted. Wait a minute. Look at this, guys. All these levers are flicked up except this one. We have to flick that lever. Oh my gosh. One, flick the lever now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He looked at me. What? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The lights are out. What's going on? What's going on? Oh my gosh. He's gone. No. What? That's insane. What? No. Okay. What just happened? Test subject three is gone. What? There's another chest here. Let's have a look at this. All right, so respawn test number one. What? Well, test one's still alive. Well, in a zombie form. Respawn test two. Respawn test three. Wait. The scientist must have known that these test subjects disappear. Let's have a look at this book. Here we go. Respawn test three. How to respawn test subject 003. Oh my gosh, there are steps here. We have to try and bring back test subject Three. So I guess that's what we're gonna have to do guys. We're gonna have to start collecting resources. Let's go ahead and get out of here Once back at the cave, I looked for a small area to build this respawn machine The build was simple enough, but now it's the time to test it. One, flick the lever now. All right, piston came down. What? Lightning fire? Oh my gosh, is that test subject? That's test subject. He's got a diamond sword, all right? No, he's coming towards us. What? Oh no, he hit us. All right, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. No, no, okay, back to the house, guys. We can be safe there. All right, all right, okay. Oh, why is it raining? What? All right, all right, in we come, in we come, in we come. What? No, what? Okay, no, 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 no. He's just looking at us. No, okay, he's shutting the doors. He's taking my house. He's taking my house. Where are we supposed to go now? As far, as far away, we might need to even start again. All right, here we go. What was that? What was that? Oh my God, how is he here? No, go away. No. Okay, we can't run. That guy's coming for us. I don't think we can outrun him, guys. We're gonna try and take him on. We're gonna go ready. All right, here we go. Come on, come on. What? He's not taking damage. No, 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 no. LS stuff. No, what? He's... What happened to the house? Okay, is he outside? We lost everything, guys. That was our how to spawn test subject book. We lost the how we lost the guide to spawn him back in and now he's gone. He also took all our iron armor, all our resources and our diamond sword. Okay, here's a really really long shot guys, but maybe if we hit the lever, he spawns in and we can trap him. We're going to try building a trap out of iron bars and surround the spawn machine with those iron bars and hopefully that'll trap him in he won't be able to get out and we'll finally be able to ask him some questions maybe even communicate with him all right so let's head up to the respawn machine guys moment of truth is it still there please please still be there yes but let's go ahead and set up our trap. So let's go ahead. One, two, three. Four. All right. So I feel like that's the best we can do. I mean, I mean, it's a pretty good trap. I mean, it's not anything super fancy. All right, guys. Attempt one at trapping test subject three. Hit the lever, guys. All right. Here comes the lightning. All right. All right. There's test subject three. Okay. Okay. He's, he's still. He's not moving. Have we successfully trapped him? Oh, okay. No, he's moving. He's moving. He's trying to get out. Yeah, he's definitely trying to escape, guys. He's definitely trying to escape. Yes, the traps worked. Yes, we've actually... Okay, stop moving, stop moving. Okay, the traps worked. The trap... What has he done? The trap hasn't worked. The trap hasn't worked. What did he just do? He just destroyed everything. He's coming close. He's coming close. Okay, he's still. still. Staying still. Staying still. This is staying still. Whoa, okay, okay. We've got blindness. Why do we have blindness? No. All right, um, he's still there. Okay, I don't... What's going on, guys? Why do we have blood? Okay. Ah, uh, We lost him again! Are you kidding me? 
How did he do that? What's going on? He removed the piston as well? I thought we had succeeded there, guys. Ah. Oh. All right. You guys think I'm going to give up? No. We're going to build this machine back. I'm going to jump. We need to get straight back to our house real quick here. We need to get some redstone. We are not giving up. If he can get through iron bars, I'm going to try and build a trap out of obsidian. If he can get through obsidian, then I give up. All right. So we've got all the things we need to respawn him in there. And we've got that obsidian. All right. Let's make our obsidian trap. Here we go, guys. Bang. We'll fill that in. That is a pretty powerful trap. I mean, if you can get through that, props to test subject. If you can get through that, I give up, you win, all right? We're gonna try and trap him. So here we go, guys. Three, two, one. Hit the lever, guys. All right, there was the lightning. We saw the lightning flash just there. Okay, you can see the shadows. Do you guys see that? The shadows of test subject. The shadows seem to be staying still. He doesn't seem to be moving. <sighs> all right, guys, here we go. I'm freaking out, I'm freak. Okay, he's in there, he's in there, he's in there. He's not moving. He's got these weird particle effects coming out of him. Orange particle effects matching him. Maybe he's playing dead to get me to destroy the cage first. All right, so we've destroyed the cage. Test subject? He's not moving. I don't know what to do from here. I'm going to put the iron bars here just because I, I, I want to be safe. I want to be 100% safe. So here's the thing. Before I let him out of that cage, I want to throw a potion of weakness at him to hopefully that if he does try to kill us, he won't do enough damage to kill us. All right, let's chuck the blaze powder in our brewing stand, put in the water bottles, and chuck in our fermented spider eye. So all we got to do is go ahead and wait for our potions to be brewed. Let's go ahead and fill this entrance in with obsidian just so he can't get out. So all right, we'll fill this entire section in here just like that. All right, cool. I've got our two splash potions of weakness, guys. Are you ready, guys? This could be the moment where we finally are able to contact test subject three. All right, is he gonna move? Let's throw the potion of weakness first. All right, bam, all right, good. There we go, all right, that hit him. You can see the particle effects coming out of him. All right, we've opened up the cell. What is he doing? Oh, guys, guys, he's moving. Test subject, hello? Hello, test subject. What is he doing, what is he doing? Hey, okay, he's trying to escape. The potion of weakness has clearly weakened his senses and he's not being able to do any damage. Let's go ahead, let's try and talk to him. So here we go, guys. Who? Are you? That's what we want to know. Oh, he's reading the sign. He's reading the sign. He's looking at me. Oh, okay. We should probably give him some signs. That way he can talk to us. Guys, we can finally learn who he is. Yes. You will regret this. Is he going to... I don't know whether he's going to try and kill us. Let's just throw another... Throw another potion of weakness on him. Throw another potion of weakness on him. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? All right, let's respond to that. All right, all right. I want to know who you are. We're actually communicating him and he's actually writing back. Error. Error? What error? What? You do not have admin permissions. Wait, does that mean he's a machine? Or is he a person? Or is he both? Wait, 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 wait. All right, let's destroy the sign here, guys. Who is your admin? Maybe the admin is the scientist. The one who must not be named. What? What do you mean? Like, what? You will be cursed. You will die. What? Okay, let's keep our distance. Maybe he's talking about the scientist. Maybe the scientist is going to kill me. Maybe test subject's actually good. Maybe he's being controlled by the scientist through this, like, mechanical cyborg thing. I come in peace, all right? Let's say I just want to find the scientist, all right? Maybe he could team up with me. Maybe we could work together to take out the scientist. You've given me all the energy? What, what is he on about? I need to escape. What is he on about? I haven't given him anything. I haven't given any energy at all. Wait, can test subject take our soul? What? He legitimately cannot escape. I don't understand. Oh my gosh. He's gone. What? No. Ah, I'm done. How? I don't know. Did he steal like my life or something to use? What am I actually supposed to do now, guys? I don't know. Like, oh my gosh. Lightning. What? What are all the lightning strikes going on? Okay, I'm losing hearts. Oh my gosh, I have nausea. Oh, why do I have levitation? I'm floating to the, what is going on? What? I'm dead? What just happened, guys? EY stream was killed by magic? We need to check the room. We need to check, we, get, we need to get back there right now. Okay, open the door. All right, I'm just gonna stay out of that room for now. He's gone, guys. We lost him again. Ugh, that sucks so much. But anyway, guys, we're gonna try spawning in test subject for the, I don't know how many times this time and try talking to him once again. And back, there we go, guys. One, hit the lever. All right, there we go. For a minute, I was like, what's going on? It's not working. Oh my, 
What happened to the machine? We got the iron block steel, but and the piston and the redstone, but did test subject interfere with us trying to spawn him in again and destroy the machine? He still has the respawn book on how to build that machine, and I can't remember how to build it. How are we going to bring back test subject three? Okay, this is a long shot. Maybe he's back in the lab cell? I don't know. We'll jump. Oh, we'll just come down here. Is he in the cell? He's not inside the cell, guys. Test subject three is still empty. And we lost the spawn machine. Oh. Wait, the only thing I can think of is we still have test subject one and two. Maybe, just maybe, guys, we could bring one of them back and they'd be able to help us get test subject three. Or it could just go really, really horribly. What am I supposed to? Oh, wait a minute. Guys, we have the instructions to spawn in test subject two. Let's have a read through this, guys. This could be our only chance of getting to test subject three. How to respawn test subject two. This seems really hopeful, but it's worked zero out of three times, so I'm kind of worried it's not going to work. I guess this is the last step. Let's go ahead and feed him the golden apple. Um, anything? Does it take a moment? He's just spinning in there. Maybe I'll just call it quits for today and check on him again tomorrow? I mean, we followed the instructions. Set- Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, why do we have levitation? What? Guys, we have levitation. I need to get to the floor. Why do we have levitation, guys? It's gone. All right, we need to check. We need to check test subject two right now. Down here, down here. Guys, test subject two. We have spawned in test subject two. It worked. It actually worked, guys. Will he be able to tell us about test subject three? This looks as if it is the human part of test subject three. We've managed to get test subject two back, but he's not moving, he's not talking. But he seems like he's the good part of test subject three. But let's go ahead. We'll just try giving him the golden apple. I guess that's step one. Here, test Steve, have a golden apple. I mean, oh, he's looking down. He's picked up the, oh, guys, he's eating it. He's eating it. Yes, he's moving. Um, He's just spinning around in circles. Let's go ahead and let him out of the cell. All right, break the glass. He stopped spinning. Keep our distance, guys. He's coming out. Guys, he's just staring at me. If I move, does he keep staring at me? Guys, this is really strange. He's just looking at me. Do you understand me? Wait, wait. Does that mean Test Steve can understand what I'm saying? Uh, do you come in peace? Guys, he comes in peace and he understands what we're saying. Uh, what do I ask him now? What do I ask? Uh, uh, do you know where Test Subject 3 is? He doesn't know where Test Subject 3 is. Maybe we ask him for help. Test Steve, can you help us? Wait, what is he doing? I think he wants us to follow him. Where is he going? I'm just gonna keep my distance, guys. Wait, what's that? Is this some sort of secret room? Whoa, guys. Uh, okay. What is Test Steve doing? Why did he bring us here? All right, so this could have either been like Test Steve's like room where he stayed while he was getting tested on, and this is where he kept his stuff because he seems to know this place pretty well. The other option is, was this where the scientist did some of his darkest experiments? The ones he really couldn't have getting found out. Is this some sort of test chamber? Wait, could this have been where the scientist held the test subjects hostage in there? There's only like a brown carpet and like a fence post and it's a tiny little room. That's so cruel. Well, I don't know. Whoa, what's going on? There's lightning? Guys, guys. It's, it's, it's test subject three. Is this what test Steve brought me in here? Did you bring, are you trying to get me killed? Is that a no? Test Steve, did you plan this? Were you trying to bring back? He's saying no, I don't know whether I trust him. He's given me effects or something. If you guys see right now, I've got like regeneration, resistance, fire resistance. Maybe he's activated those effects to try and protect me. Test subject three. What's going on? Okay, at least we're safe. He's stuck in that room. He can't attack us, right? Whoa! How did he? No, he's just walked right through the test cell. What's going on? Wait. Wait, wait, wait. What are those two doing? Um. It's as if test subject three has scared test Steven to the corner. Um. Test subject three is looking at me. Test Steve, can you help? Oh, no. 
Uh, I'm just going to back away. Is he following me? Okay, it's time to run. It's time to run, guys. Okay. Oh, he is following us. Let's get in here. Let's get in. Oh, my gosh. He hit us. He hit us. Let's get into this room. Let's get into this room. Let's... Oh, oh, um, uh, uh. Oh, no. Okay. What have I done, guys? Test subject is going to kill us again. I'm actually trapped in this room. Oh, oh, test team. What? What are they doing? What's going on? Okay, I'm... Wait, are those... Are they fighting? Wait, what's going on? There's lightning. They're, like, attacking each other. Wait, is Test Steve trying to protect me? What is going on right now? What's going... Wait, I'm just going to take this potion of regeneration. Okay, this is our chance to escape, actually. We need to get out of here. Close the iron door. Okay, good, 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 good. We close the door. We just... Let's get as far as away from that as we can. We're going to get down here. Get to get down here. Did Test Steve just save my life? Do you think he killed Test Subject 3? Wait, guys... Look, Test Steve's items are on the ground. Oh no. Test Steve died to save my life. I should have helped him. I should have helped him. Well, I'm just going to fill this entire area up for now. He's not getting out. No way. I'm just closing this off. Okay. Test Subject 3 is trapped. Test Steve sacrificed his life to save us. But anyway, I actually have a game plan today. We are going to build a machine that is going to take away Test Subject 3's powers so he is powerless. I don't even care about the scientists right now. I just want to bring back Test Steve because he died to save my life. That is the room that Test Subject 3 was in. I've built on either side, right and left, these passageways. And I've even built a one block hole so I could make sure that he's still in that room. I think he's still injured from his fight with Test Steve. I think his powers have been a little destroyed by Test Steve and he's currently in a weak state. He's too weak to actually escape the room himself. We have to work really, really quickly. And that's why I've gone ahead and I've built these corridors. The idea is, guys, is I've been doing a ton of research on the internet lately on different machines that can absorb different entities' powers. And I'm going to go ahead and build a machine that will hopefully be able to absorb Test Subject 3's power so he's powerless. So one, he can never escape. And two, so we can maybe use that power to bring back Test Steve. Pretty much got to get started on this machine pretty quickly, guys. And bang, switch to Observer. Bang, switch to Observer. Bang, switch to Observer. Oh, he's in the, he's in the gap. Quick, punch him. All right, cool. Cool, there we go. All right, we're good. Now, you guys may notice the little red flashing lights that appear every time I place an Observer. What's going on is these Observer blocks are basically, as the name suggests, observing Test Subject 3 and really analyzing his different powers and abilities and what makes him tick. I'm going to connect these up to the redstone, and these are basically going to turn these on so they can suck up all the information about him when I hit this lever. But before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and also chuck observers on the other sides of the room. Fingers crossed. I guess we'll have to test the machine. Dream! He's still in there. Two, one. Hit the lever. Circuit is on. All right. Whoa. We got lightning. So I guess the observer blocks definitely did something. Is he still in there? Um, he's not in there. What in the world? Why is he miss- We're gonna have to get in there. We have to get in here right now. We have to get in here right now. Is he in here? Wait, what's that? It looks like it's a lingering potion. I'm not sure. Let's pick it up. Okay, we haven't taken any damage. Let's take a look. Test subject three powers? With a two. Ten seconds. It worked! Wait, but then where's test subject three? Wait, I have a theory. I don't know whether this is the case, but could the observers- Maybe they absorbed him as well. Maybe this isn't just Test Subject 3's powers, but Test Subject 3 himself. Test Subject 3 is inside that bottle. We have Test Subject 3 powers. This could be the thing that allows us to bring back Test Steve. We could have just really messed ourselves up because I feel if he is being controlled by the scientist, the scientist probably knows that he's been condensed. And the scientist is going to look for whoever did it. And that'll be us. The only way we can get around this, guys, is we have to work fast. I'm going to have to start thinking of a plan what we're going to do. We need to get Test Steve back alive as soon as possible because if the scientist comes for us, we need to be ready to fight him. And we're going to try and spawn in Test Subject 1. Yep, it is in here. To respawn, Test 1 is still in this chest. So let's go ahead and we'll finally be able to figure out what makes Test Subject 1 tick. How to respawn Test Subject 1. Do not repeat. Source the Forbidden Archives? What? Warning, do not repeat this test. Results are unstable. What is that supposed to mean? Results are unstable. Uh, do not repeat this test. Well, technically we're not repeating it. This is the first time we're doing it. So I guess it's kind of okay. So, all right, let's go ahead and start getting what we need. One, hit the lever. 
Oh my gosh, what was that? What is going on right there, guys? I just see fire and... What is that? Is that test subject one? He's just spazzing out. What in the world, guys? This is nothing like we've ever seen before. That, that is seriously messed up, whatever that is, guys. He's like corrupted or something. It's like, I don't know. I'm going to call him Corrupt Steve, I think. Because he does look like he's corrupted with something. He looks really broken and messed up. So for this video, I'm going to call him Corrupt Steve so that we don't get him confused. Is he just going to spaz out? I don't know whether we should let that thing out. He looks really, really messed up. All right, luckily he's still in the glass there and he's not going to break out. I think we're set. What is that? What is he doing? Wait, he stopped. He's staring at me. What is he? He's broken the glass. Okay, that's not normal. Wait, what is that? He's everywhere he walks leaves a black trail. Where is he going? Okay, he's going into the lab. Why is he going in here? He's looking through the chest. Um, wait, what is he picking up? Is that a book? I'm so confused. What? He's cor it's like he's corrupting my world or something. That's seriously messed up, guys. What is this stuff? Okay, he's looking through the chest here. What is this? It doesn't seem to be affecting the redstone. But, guys, look at him. What is this? He looks seriously messed up. This guy has been put through some serious experiments. I don't even know if that is human. Is that human? Is Corrupt Steve even human? Where is he going? This is so weird, guys. Look at all this black stuff. Where is he going? Um, He's looking through my stuff now. Do I have anything in here that he could want? I don't think so. What I'm going to do is while he's looking down here, I'm going to block off this room up here because if he finds out what's going up on up here, he could try and help test subject three get out. Is he friendly? Can we talk to him? I'm going to put this sign down, see whether he can talk. So we're going to go, are you looking for something? Was that a nod? I think that might have been a nod. Wait. Is he looking for the test subject three powers? Um, he definitely heard that. What is he doing? Um, he's walking towards me. Oh my gosh, he hit me. I think he wants the test subject three powers. Wait, wait. If he hits me again, maybe he's just trying to be friendly. He's definitely not friendly. He wants the test subject three powers. We can't let him get this. That can't ever be good. Wait, maybe he's stuck down there. Do you think he's stuck down there? Do you think we're safe? No, he definitely... We gotta go. Down there, we're getting out. I'm done. No. This is ridiculous. What in the world? There is a full-on thunderstorm out here. Actually, you know what? Every time we run, guys, something bad happens. This is how Test Steve dies. We are not going to run. We are going to fight back. Come at me. Okay, maybe this was not the best idea. This may not have been the best idea. He's just walking slowly towards me. No. Die. Die. How are we supposed to fight back if we can't even take damage? I don't understand. This is ridiculous. I'm... Okay, nope, he's punching me. We gotta go. Oh my gosh, that lightning was way too close. It's like lightning. What is that? Is what? Why are there zombies falling from the sky? I don't even want... What is going on right behind me? How are that many, that many zombies? This is not normal. What is wrong with this guy? What is wrong with him? There is something seriously wrong with this guy. Oh my gosh, there are so many zombies right now. I can't even... He's coming for me, he's coming for me, we're getting in here. We're getting in the water right now. Why isn't he coming into the water? Why isn't he walking in the water? Wait, he's building on the water? What in the world? Why is he doing that? Can he not touch water? He can't come in the water. Corrupt Steve cannot walk into the water. I have an idea. I have an idea. Let's get onto the land real quick. This could be our opportunity, guys. Come on, we'll bait him up here. Bait him up here. Come up here, Corrupt Steve. Come up here. He's coming for us now. Quick, put the water down. Put the water down. He can't move. Guys, he's spazzing out. Look at him. He's just, what? All right, this is our chance. Let's get the hits now. Let's get the hits now. He is dead. We killed him. We killed him. What has happened here, guys? This is ridiculous. We killed him. Let's get this potion of regeneration. Wait, what? Classified 46, what's that? Did Corrupt Steve drop this? Let's have a look at this. Mission briefing? Number one, collect test subject three, concentrate. He was trying to get the test subject three powers. Two, eliminate intruder. That must have been me. Three, collect separation instructions from test chamber four. What are the separation instructions? Four, return to meeting point. If mission is compromised, execute fake death and return to meeting point. 
Are you telling me he didn't actually die? Are you telling me that was all a fake death? What? I can't... This is... This is ridiculous. He faked the death, but he dropped this. Collect test subject three, concentrate. Did the scientist send him to come after me? If the scientist sent test subject one after me, then the scientist must still be alive. But what is this? Separation instructions from test chamber four? All right. What in the world is test chamber four? There's only three test cells. There's only three test chambers down here. I don't get it. Wait. Does it mean the secret room down here? Wait, it's not opening. Let's, let's break in. Why didn't it open, guys? Wait, I've never really looked through these chests. Is there anything in here? TS3, arrow TS2. TS3, TS2, what is in, in this book? We need to have a look at this. Separation technique? Test subject three, two test subject two. Potentially reversible. Allows for control separation. Allows for power separation? I think, guys, this is a manual that shows us how we can get Test Steve from Test Subject 3. This could be how we can revive Test Steve. So as you can see, I've taken a screenshot of one of my previous videos right here, guys. And I'm going to be copying this to build our respawn machine. And I think when it says I need to build two of them, I'm going to need to go ahead and build one module for Test Subject 2 and one for Test Subject 3. And that will somehow allow me to separate Test Subject 2 from Test Subject 3. I think that's everything we're going to need to build these modules. Let's head over to the lab right now. All right, so let's go ahead and get started building these respawn machines. Now, I believe what we're going to have to do is grab Test Subject 3's powers here. We're going to need to chuck down this bottle first. So let's go ahead and do that. Whoa. We're going to respawn in Test Subject 3 in 3, 2, 1. Hit the lever, guys. Oh my gosh, what is that? Okay, there's test subject three. We're gonna connect the redstone really quick. Let's turn off the redstone, bang, bang, bang. We're going to try and separate test Steve from him right now. We're gonna do this really quickly, guys. Three, two, one, let's go. Hit the lever. Okay, is it working? Oh, please work, please work. I don't, oh, it w did it work? I think it worked. Guys, look at that. Test Steve is right there. They aren't moving. Did I do this right? They're just still, guys. Test Steve's moving. He's alive! He's alive! Yes! Test Steve, thank you so, so much for saving my life earlier. I cannot thank you enough. Oh my gosh, he's alive, guys. He's actually alive. Test Steve is back. He can finally talk to us. And now that he's alive and safe, we can go ahead and talk to him about all the different things. We can finally learn things, guys. Since he's alive, he's alive. Wait, Test Subject 3 is moving as well. Um, what are they doing? They're just staring at each other. Okay, no, 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 oh no, not this again. Test subject three's attacking test team. Oh, what do I do? Um, I, 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 all right, we gotta get out of here, we gotta get out of here. All right, test team, I can't let you die this time. Follow me, test team. Test team, get out of here, get out. All right, hit the lever, bang, yes! Woo! We've trapped test subject three in there successfully. And test team is still alive. I can't believe it worked. Test team, are you okay? Are you okay? He's okay. Let's check on test subject three. Is he still in there? Is he still in there, guys? He's still in there. He can't get out. Wait a minute. I know how we can seal him up. How we can stop him from ever hurting test Steve again. Let's turn him back into the potion. Yes. All right. Ready, guys? In three, two, one. Bang. Lightning. I can see the test subject three potion power in there. Right now, guys, let's go ahead, open up the cell. All right, bang. All right, let's go in. We did it. Let's go ahead and visit Test Steve. We'll see what he's doing. All right, so as you can see, this is the kind of room I made for him. It's actually kind of a prison cell. I feel really bad. I'm a little worried about these guys. So let's go ahead, open up the door head in. As you can see, I've only put the lever on this side. But anyway, what is he doing? Is he making a map? Test subject, how are you going? Wait, do you guys hear that? Wait. No way. Could Test Steve be trying to talk to us? Is that you speaking, Test Steve? <laughs> Guys, that's Test Steve's voice. The only problem is, is we can't understand him. All right, so hopefully he gets this. I'm going to give him some signs and hopefully he'll understand that I want to talk to him using the signs. Who are you? I feel like that's the first kind of question because we still don't know a lot about these test subjects. So let's put this down. I don't remember. You don't remember? You don't remember anything? When I was little, the scientist took me from my village. Oh, wow. I'm so 
Sorry, I, that's horrible. That is honestly horrible, guys. You need to get out of here. That's what Test Subject 3 said to us as well. I'm not giving up now. I refuse to. I need to know who the scientist is first. Please stop. I don't want you to die. Oh, wow. Oh, now I just feel bad. He wants us to stop because he doesn't want us to die. I'm sorry. Um, I won't stop until I find him. Do you even know where to go? Ah, oh, that's a good question. Not at all, actually. Do you know how I can find him? If anybody knows, it'll be him, not me. I might know where to go, but are you sure you want to do this? Yep, I'm sure. I'm sure. We got to ask him for his help because he definitely seems to know where we can find the scientist and we need to get him. We need to get his help. Please help me. I need your help. I remember the scientist used to have a secret chamber. So if we can get in, we might be able to... Wait, so the scientist isn't in his secret chambers? No? He's saying that if we can get to the scientist's secret chambers, maybe there's a book or something like that that might be able to tell us where he's gone. <laughs> Let's go. There is one problem. What's that? Only test subject three can get in to the lab? To the scientist's secret chambers? Clearly there's something in that lab that I'm not supposed to find. If we can find another way, can get in. If we can find another way to get into the lab... Oh, here we go. I have an idea. But we might die. Oh, that's not great. So I guess we may as well say, what is it? I need to control test subject three. And how, how in the world do you propose we're gonna do that test, Steve? Wait a minute. In theory, guys, if we can merge test Steve into test subject three, test Steve might be able to actually control test subject three. Maybe we could merge you with test subject three wait i remember the scientist talking about it so i'm onto something but maybe this theory has some sort of ground maybe he heard the scientist talking about it so do you know how he did it no sorry oh but he might have written it down that could actually be right wait i don't know whether i've looked through all the chests back in that little lab room all right follow me test steve follow me follow me Wait, I can't open this chest. I can't open it because the block's above Let's it. Let's see what's in here. TS1 plus TS2? What? Let's have a look at this. Merging technique? Test subject 1 plus test subject 2? Does it make test subject 3? That's a theory that we've had for a while that maybe those one side's the good side, one side's the bad side. You merge them together and you get test subject 3. Potentially reversible. Allows for power control. We want test Steve to be able to control test subject three. Wait, wait, modifiers. We can either test subject to provide control and power to the remaining test subject. So in theory, if we weaken corrupt Steve before we merge him with test Steve, does that mean test Steve has control over t corrupt Steve or control over test subject three? A lot to think about. Um, The only thing I can think of is we've got to follow these instructions and we have to build this merging machine. We'll just visit test Steve real quick, guys. As you see, guys, he's taking a nice little nap. He doesn't realize that we're going to be trying to trap Corrupt Steve today, guys. And then hopefully, once we have Corrupt Steve, we're going to put him inside a power potion and then use that power potion to combine him with Test Steve so we can get a version of Test Subject 3 that we can control in order to get to the secret scientist chambers. But it's going to be pretty hard to trap Corrupt Steve. I have an idea, but I'm not sure whether it'll work. So guys, I'll run you through my plan. Basically, we know that from the classified 46 document, actually, I'll go grab it, was to collect the test subject three concentrate. Now we have the test subject three powers still. Luckily guys, he hasn't managed to take that from us. But what my plan is guys, is to chuck the test subject three powers in the center of this room, right guys? Now my plan is to fill those holes this episode with dispensers that have water buckets in them. I'm gonna put down the test subject three power potion right in the middle of this room. We're gonna see, we're gonna, gonna wait and hope, fingers crossed, that corrupt Steve is going to realize that it's right here in the middle of the room and whoever's controlling him, whether it's the scientist, whether it's someone else, that they send corrupt Steve to come and get the potion again. And hopefully when corrupt Steve enters this room, we will go ahead, hit a lever and all the dispensers will drop water on him. And because we know that water is his weakness, not only from discovering that ourselves, that hopefully that'll spaz him out enough. So we'll be able to weaken him. Once we go ahead and weaken him, we'll be able to use the power potion machine that we used on test subject three, turn him into a potion and this video will hopefully go all to plan. Guys, 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 look, 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 look. It worked. He's, he's taking the bait. Looking at it, he's definitely come for the power potion. What is he doing? 
Oh, okay. I think he saw us. I think he saw us. We gotta activate the trap. All right, let's go ahead and activate the water now. Bang. All right, the water's coming down from the ceiling. I think we got him. There is no way he managed to get out of that water, guys. Now we gotta go ahead and activate the power potion machine. Couple of them. All right, has it activated? Hopefully, guys, the power potion machine worked. Here we go, guys. We're gonna go ahead and see whether we got the test subject one or corrupt Steve powers. Do you think we managed to do it, guys? Let's enter the room. Cover up the water here, guys. All right, let's cover up these dispensers real quick. Guys, look at that. Let's pick it up and have a look. Guys, look at this. It's a test subject one power potion. We did it. The trap worked. Woo! So we're going to go ahead and build this machine up here, guys. Let's go ahead and have a look at this. Throw the Corrupt Steve potion. Okay, there it is. There's the lightning. There's the lightning. Corrupt Steve's there, guys. Corrupt Steve's there. We need to activate the machine right now, guys. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh, guys. There's test subject three. Wait, no, Corrupt Steve's making a run for it. Get back here. No, Corrupt Steve, come back. Where did he go? Where did he actually go, guys? Did he get away? He's not out here. Oh, we let Corrupt Steve get away. But wait, did the machine work? Guys, did the machine actually work? I, I wasn't really paying attention. Did this work? It worked, guys. There's test subject three. Did Corrupt Steve running away make the machine stop working? And let's see whether this brings him back to life, guys. In three, two, one. Throw the potion. All right, it's activated. He's spacing out. He's moving, he's moving. This could be good. This could be really, really good, guys. He's saying still? I'm really confused. He spazzed out there for a bit, guys. The potion's still going. Okay, it's gone. Do you think it worked? I'm really confused. Wait. He's nodding yes. It worked. It worked, guys. Test Steve, are you in there? Can you hear me? All right, Test Steve is inside Test Subject 3. You can come out, man. Go get out of the machine. All right. We need him to take us to the scientist's lab because that's where we think we might be able to find a map that would show us where the scientist currently is, guys. So Test Subject 3, you, can you show us now? All right, well, lead the way, man, because I, I have no idea where this lab is. All right, he's, he's leaving. Oh, we don't, don't want to leave behind. All right, I'm coming, man. Oh, he's heading up here. Let's see where we're going, guys. Okay, we'll come out here. What is he doing, guys? He's looking at the graves. Does it have something to do with his graves? Wait, what is he doing? Wait, what? Test subject three, is that you down there? All right, wish me luck. I really hope I don't die. Oh, we're going down the hole. Okay, okay, there's water down here. All right, all right, that's good. Wait, what? Is whoa, whoa, what was that? Yo, guys, dog, what is this? No way. Where are we? This must be the, the scientist's secret room. Wait, what is that? It looks like somebody was frozen in ice has been being turned into a skeleton, guys. This could be one of the villagers. This could be someone he was testing on and he got frozen in ice and now he's turned into a skeleton. That's horrible. Wait, what are these? Are these like sparks? That's a warning sign. Guys, this is a test chamber. Look at this. There's one test chamber and there's like sparks coming out of it. Yo, what is this? And there's... Another test chamber and another. There's three test chambers, guys. It seems like he stopped using this because we've got these big warning signs here, guys. And we've got these sparks coming out. Wait, wait, wait. Where did test subject three go? What is he looking at? It seems like there's something on the wall. Wait, I'm going to grab a torch. Let's put the torch down. Whoa. Guys. Yo, guys, look. That's where we are. That's our village. And what does this mean? Maybe the map, guys, is trying to tell us where the scientist is. This is so weird. Wait, guys, look at that. I don't know whether you guys see that, but if you look sideways there, guys, on the map there, look at the Corrupt Steve stuff. Look at that. It says zero, zero. And I don't know whether you can say, if you guys turn your head a little bit, it says zero, zero, three on the maps. Even in Corrupt Steve's trails, zero, zero, three, as in test subject three. This must have been where the scientist slept. This must have been his bedroom, his private rooms for testing, guys. This is where, this is where he did all of his evil deeds. Look at this. There's like these hoppers attached to these test chambers. Is there anything in these? Can we open this? Wait. TS2 reinforced glass? What is that? Notes. Day 366. Wait, wait, wait. Let's have a look at this. Notes. Day 366. Separation test 007. Reverse TS1 plus TS2 appendix. Uh, what? What is this? I don't understand what this is talking about, guys. And Hades. Hades? What does that mean? Wait. Is that him signing off on the book? Wait, wait, who's this book written by? Guys, look at who the book's written by. It's by Hades. Is that the name of the scientist? Could the scientist have a partner? Or is this the scientist's name, Hades? Do you know where the lab is, Test Subject 3? Do you know where it is? 
No. Do you know any way we could find out where the lab is? Yes? Can you- wait, can you tell me? Wait, actually, we better give him a sign, guys. He's a sign, man. The scientist gave the lab location to test Steve? But aren't you test Steve? How come you don't have the book? Wait, wait, what? I don't get it. The location of the lab is with test Steve's body. Oh, I get it now, guys. I get it. The instructions that tell us how to interpret this map is on Testy's body. We need to return him back to his body. I wonder if this book, these notes, have something to do with how we can move Test Steve back from Test Subject 3's body back into his body because we're going to need to figure out how to bring Test Steve back into his own body if we want to get the notes on where to find the scientist on this map. I want to get you back in your body so we can get the instructions to the scientist. So let's go ahead, head in here. All right, well, let's go ahead and get started making this machine. So, all right, guys, we're going to activate the lever in three, two, one. Activate the lever. Oh my gosh, what are they doing? They're like, they flashed. They flashed on fire and then off and on. Wait, guys, is, is Test Steve moving? Test Steve, are you alive? Are you alive? Are you alive? It's a yes, guys. Yes. All right, man. Go ahead. Let him out of here, guys. Test Steve, you're back in your body, man. Are you okay? I'm feeling okay. Oh, wait a minute. You have the book, right? Do you have the book that the scientist gave you? Pass it over. Pass it over, man. Guys, check it out. Escape protocol by crisis bot. That sounds like some sort of machine made this book. Like, it's as if the machine automatically created this book and gave it to Test Steve when something went wrong in this lab. The scientist must have set it up as like an emergency protocol or something. After all, it is, well, it is called escape protocol. Let's have a look at this. In case of emergency. All right, well, we were definitely on the right track there, guys. I will move from my village lab to my central lab located at 1-6. Use trapdoor 004 to access map. What? I'm really, really confused. End. So let's have a look at this. Now, I've been thinking, what does 1-6 mean and what does it relate to this map? So I think what it means is on level one, we need to move six down. So we need to go... Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then that must mean the scientist is located here now. So we've got a long, long way to travel. But I think this is the closest we've come to trying to figure out where he's gone. And I think that's the only way we're going to have to do. We're going to have to travel here and see whether we can find any type of lab there. And before we go, I think it's important that we check for this trapdoor four or whatever this is. Because there could be some important information that we don't know yet inside this trapdoor. Test Steve, do you know where it is? He's looking up. Wait. Yo, guys, how did we miss this? Let's have a look and see what's hiding up this trapdoor. You coming, Test Steve? All right, we are up, guys. Yo. Test Steve, have you been here before? Oh, no, this is really, really strange, guys. This place looks like it hasn't been used in years. Where does this even lead? I guess there's only one way to find out. Let's head up here. Um, there's a lever up here. Wait. Oh, there we go. Uh, that just opened up a passageway. Where is it? There's light down there, guys. Head down there very slowly. Right, I really hope there's nothing down there. What is this place? Wait, what? Guys, are you seeing this? This is the lab. This is, this is legitimately the lab. He must have used this escape route to get into the map room so that he could figure out where his lab was so he could make sure. And then he must have left following his lab to go to a central lab. That kind of makes sense. But at the same time, I really wish we'd checked up here earlier to find this area. I can't believe this entrance was hiding here the entire time. All right, let's head back to that map room. All right, now we need to go ahead and grab this, uh, this map right here, guys. So let's go ahead and grab that. We should be all good. All right, testing. You ready to go? Let's get out of here. Wait, no way. Guys, it's test subject three. What? No, 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 what's going on? Wait, but isn't Test Subject 3 back in the lab from earlier? Oh, uh, Test Steve. Whoa, whoa, we are inside a glass trap. What is going on? No way. Um, Test Steve, Test Steve, what do we do? What's going on right now? Oh my gosh, look behind you, there's lava. We need to get out of here. We need to get out of here. Um, we can't get out there. The main entrance is blocked. Um, okay, no, no, no. We've got to use this trap door. Use this trap. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad, guys. I can't get out. Test Steve, you made it up. Test Steve, Test Steve, don't leave me behind. All right, we've got to get out of there. We've got to get out of there. Quick, quick, go, go as fast as you can. I don't know how fast that lava is filling up, guys. What in the world? Okay, no, 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 no. We need to use this. We need to... I can't believe we're actually using this escape protocol. Come on, quick, 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 quick. Get out here. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna shut the door. Get out here. All right, shut the door. That way, Test Subject 3 can't come after us. Okay, 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 we're out. We're out. We're out. Yo, what just happened? Wait, we got to check up here. Is Test Subject 3 still in here? Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. He's gone. 
He's gone. We've lost test subject three. Was he actually frozen or was he pretending to be frozen? He just tried to kill us. Guys, if we didn't know about that secret trap door, we would have been stuck inside that glass cage as that room filled up with lava. We would have died. We saved the map, guys. We saved the map. Oh, guys, we have the map that will lead us to the scientist. I think what we need to do, Test Steve, is grab some horses. We need to settle up. We need to get some resources. We need to get food. We need to get ready. You ready, Test Steve? We are going to track down the scientist and put an end to his reign of terror. All right, so we'll head over here. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? Why do I have poison? What? The, guys, are you seeing this? The, the rain is red. It is blood, I don't, it's blood rain. It's actually blood rain right now, guys. What is going on? Test Steve is taking damage. I'm, whoa, lightning. Wait, we gotta get inside that mine shaft over there. Quick, 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 quick. Get inside, get inside, get inside. Yo, what's going on? We're still taking damage. We're still taking, we still have that poison. Yo, Test Steve, look at that. Wait, wait, I gotta destroy these vines real quick here. I gotta destroy these vines. Test Steve, are you seeing this? I hope this poison doesn't kill us. Please don't kill us, poison. I really, guys. Oh, I hope this poison doesn't kill us. Wait, wait. I've got some milk buckets here. I've got some milk buckets here. Here. Take this. Take this. Drink. Drink the milk bucket. We should get rid of that poison effect. Okay, and here's a golden apple. Get your health up, man. Get your health up. Okay, guys. Look at that. That rain is red. I, there's no way I'm going crazy. Guys, it's blood rain. This world has blood rain? Guys, look at this. We're on the map. Only one person crazy enough could make it rain blood, and I think that is the scientist, or Hades, or whatever his name is, or her name is. We don't, we still don't know, I guess. Test Steve, I'm going to try and see whether I take damage. I've got the golden apple. I'm going to head outside. Hopefully, I don't take any damage. Okay, I think it's safe. You can head out here, Test Steve. We just got to be careful not to get hit by lightning. Is that what this red stuff on the map is? Is that not lava? Is that blood water? Yo! Yo! Test Steve. Wait, Test Steve, are you seeing this? Guys, this seed is definitely cursed. It is raining blood. And all the water has turned to blood. I'm going to head back to that mine shop. I actually don't feel safe out here. It's... Oh, okay. It's definitely back. We got the poison again. Okay, now nah, we got to head back inside, dude. We've, we've spent too long outside in the rain. Okay, this is so weird. All right, here's another golden apple. This is my last one for you, man. Just eat that. I don't have any milk left, but just take that golden apple. That should keep us alive. Make sure not to take any full damage, dude, because if, if we do, we'll die. And there's nothing really interesting about this mine shaft. This mine shaft, what? It opens out into the into the, the ravine. Wait, guys, look at this. We're on the edge of the ravine. Maybe he needs the blood rain to power one of experiments. I don't know, guys. Once again, just coming up with tons of ideas here. But wait, what? Yo, guys, what's this? Test Steve, look at this. Guys, are you seeing this? Whoa, what's that? That's super weird. Yo. I don't know whether you guys... Look at that, guys. The redstone flashes and then that appears. What is this? Tonic 002. What does that mean? Once it stops raining, is we have to go check out this ravine for ourselves. Don't you reckon, Test Steve? Test Steve, wake up. Wake up, Test Steve. Hey, Test Steve, how are you going? You going well, man? No, wait, why not? Wait, Test Steve. Why aren't you going well? Wait, wait, let me put a torch up. Whoa! Guys, are you seeing this? Test Steve, there's a big red hole in the middle of your chest. What? You know what that reminds me of, guys? That reminds me of the corrupted core inside Corrupt Steve. He has that big red thing in the middle of his chest, and he has, like, black... And obviously, guys, Corrupt Steve is completely black, and this looks exactly like that, guys. It's that red core, or... Is that blood? That could be the insides of Test Steve. I don't really know what's going on here, guys. And there's like black all around. It's like he's either being corrupted or could Test Steve be dying? Wait, guys, do you hear that? Test Steve, do you, wait, repeat that. D do you know what's going on? Whoa, guys, I wish we could understand what that is. Here we go, have some signs. You need to tell me what is going on, man. What's going on? I don't know. Oh no, there is another test subject nearby. Wait, what? Wait, what? If there's another test subject nearby, does he mean test subject three? Does he mean test subject one? Or does he mean a different, like maybe one of the, maybe there's another test subject that we don't know about guys. But how does he, wait, how do you know test it? How do you know? Is, is it because you have that big corrupt thing in the middle of you? We are con con connected? What? I can feel it. 
Okay, okay. The only thing I can think, guys, right now is if we can find the scientist's lab, the central lab that's supposed to be somewhere in this map here, guys, then maybe that lab will have some sort of cure we can use to heal him. Maybe there's something in here that I'm missing. Tonic 2, brewing stand. Is there anything in here? No. It looks like it's been used. We can see the blaze powder's been in here, guys. Maybe there's something in the chest. Whoa! Holy moly! There is a lot of stuff in this chest. Is oh, central lab. Maybe this helps us. No? Okay, no. Wait, is that a... No. Nah. Guys, this is just an identical map of this area, guys. Give Actually, I'm going to keep that map. Maybe this will... Expired sample? What? Infected blood water sample? Wait. Tonic 00212 by Hades? Wait, what does that mean? Maybe this book will help us. Okay, let's have a look at this. Immunity to death rain. Guys, that's what we need. We need to get that immunity to death rain. Because if we can do that, then maybe Test Steve can come outside with us. And I'm curious, maybe, do you guys think that this infection that's appearing on Test Steve right now is due to the blood rain? Stage one of two. Um, does that mean there are two stages? I'm confused. Wait, notes. Last indefinitely, so I guess that means it goes forever. So here we go. One, craft three glass bottles. Two, fill with blood water. Should become blue if not repeat this step. Wait a minute. Let's have a look. This must be what the blood water samples are for, guys. Step nine, leave for five days. We have to wait five days for this potion to work? Refer to 2-2 for application of potion. Wait, we can't just drink the potion? Oh, this sucks, guys. Wait, there's no part two in here. Where's part two? So I think the machine is done and we should have the potions here, guys. Please, guys, fingers crossed. Ready? Three, two, one, over. Okay, guys, there it is. The tonic two essence. Look at that. We got it. We got it. Woohoo! Let's go. Why is this one different colored, guys? But I'm just going to take all of them anyway. Now, the next thing is, guys, is I'm pretty sure I can't just throw these down. The reason being is because at the end of our instructions here for the immunity to death rain, we have this thing here, refer to two of two for application of potions. So I'm pretty sure there's a special machine we have to use in order to get these potions to properly work in order to heal Test Steve and give us that immunity to blood rain. Now, if you see here, it was tested at the Village Lab Private Chamber Cell 3. We are going to actually head back to the uh, Village Lab, guys, and try and get rid of that lava to see whether or not we can find part two of these instructions. But we're really just going to have to make an absolute run for it to try and get through the blood rain. You ready, man? All right, guys, ready? Quick! Run, run, run! Okay, the poison effects here. The poison effects here. Okay, go run, 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 run. We gotta just run. We gotta 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 run. Get out of the blood rain. We gotta get out of the blood rain before that poison effect comes back. Okay, okay, we're out of the blood rain. Test D, we made it! We are out. We made it out. And I reckon we can head back to the village lab now. Coming down, Test Steve. Let's check it out. All right. Uh, figures oh my gosh. Wait, Test Steve, are you down here? Are you seeing this? Okay, this is bad. Oh, I know, guys. If we come in through trapdoor four, then theoretically we should be able to come in from the top of the lab. Whoop. Oh. Oh, very ca- There's the lava right there, guys. All right, so what we're gonna have to do- Okay, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. All right, we put the cobblestone there. Now, we need to break this open here. This place has been absolutely wrecked, guys. So it's gonna take a bit of time, but I will see you guys once we finish cleaning out this room very, very soon. And it is a wrap, guys. It took us forever. I actually had to head back, grab some diamonds and craft uh, test Steve over here, a diamond pickaxe, but I think we did a pretty good job, honestly. Actually, let me put a torch down just so we can see how much damage Holy moly, dude. And we should be able to use that as our makeshift cell straight in order to get these potions into both Test Steve and I. Um, which chest haven't we checked? We haven't checked over at this chest. What's in here? There's definitely some stuff in here, guys. Coolio. It's a melon. I'm actually going to take that. we got an empty map. Do these? No, okay. Both these maps are empty. Hey, guys, look at this. There is a tonic two essence in here as well. So the scientist must have been experimenting with creating an immunity to death rain before he even moved to the central lab. That's really interesting. What are these books? We've got Tonic 2. Guys, that's the part two of the instructions that we need. Sweet. All right, we also have dispenser, anvil, and some other stuff. I'm just going to take... Ooh, there's a blood ward sample here as well. That's interesting. We're going to take that blood ward sample anyway. We've got an empty map. And the final test. What is that? by Hades. That's interesting, guys. I'm going to take that book anyway. We'll read it later. Is to go ahead and check out this part two of the Tonic 2. So let's go ahead, have a look at here. Okay, there's a lot of stuff here. Immunity for death rain. Stage two of two. Sweet, we got the book we're looking for, guys. Now, notes last and definitely reverse effects have transformed to splash and tested our village lab private cell, private chamber cell three. So we got all the same stuff for you guys. This is definitely what we were looking for. Our machine is all set up. The only thing we have to do is activate the redstone. 
You ready, Chest Steve? Okay, Chest Steve is ready, guys. He's all good to go. All right, guys. Three, two, one. Activate the lever. Okay, the potion's on him. The po guys, look at that. Guys, look at that. He's back to his normal self. The big red hole on him is gone. Chest Steve, are you feeling okay? Hey, guys. And if the machine worked correctly, now when we go into the blood frame, we shouldn't get that poison effect. All right, man, I'm going to let you out. I need you to go ahead and do the same thing for me so I don't get damaged by the blood rain as well. In three, two, one, hit the lever. Okay, guys, we got, the, we got it on us. Did, did anything happen? I'm hoping the machine worked, guys. Um, hopefully, guys, if this machine did work correctly, we should now be able to head to the central lab and all the blood rain won't do any damage to us. Well, at least that's what I'm hoping, Test Steve. No, 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 it's raining blood. It's raining blood. Wait, Test Steve. We're not taking damage. Let's go. Woo! Woo we are not taking damage, guys. The potion actually worked. Let's get indoors. We need to explore this ravine because I'm pretty certain that the scientist lab is somewhere in this ravine. Wait, guys, you remember we picked up a book from the chest? Guys, I have it. The final test. Maybe this will give us a hint to where the lab is located. Let's have a look at this. All right, mission briefing. Due to lab failure and the discovery, I have been forced to evacuate to my central lab. What's the discovery? It is important for me to continue my test on you. If you are TS1, TS2, or TS3, all right, yeah, it was for them, please decode these instructions to find me. Yo, please follow these instructions. Are they on the next page? Yo, guys, here's the instructions. Where the light is lost and the lava flows, you'll find many treasures brightly glow. To find me, you will need a key. First, look away from the door you can see. Remember what I taught you, to conquer humanity. You must take what's strong and not what shines if you wish to find your way into my minds. This is your final test, Hades. Was the scientist trying to take over humanity? Test subject, tell me the truth. Yo, guys, test, the scientist was putting together test subjects as some sort of super weapon. Could the scientist maybe be amassing an army? Yo, guys, no wonder Notch banned him and banned this seed. I think what it means is where it says, where the light is lost and lava flows. I think that's referring to this ravine because if I just build out a little bit here, guys, if I come out just out, here, you guys may notice, not only is there not a lot of light here, in fact, it's pretty dark, but there is a ton of lava flowing through this area. Next thing is you'll find many treasures brightly glow. It must be somewhere at the base of the ravine because the base is where you find things like gold, diamonds, iron, and then it says to find me, you will need a key. First, look away from the door you can see. If we find a door, then that might have something to do with it. So let's have a look at this. Where do we start, guys? What if we start where all that black stuff is? Yo, guys, there it is. And check this out, guys. There is a giant iron door just hanging here on the side of the ravine. So I'm pretty certain that this is definitely the door we are looking for. Nah, nah, he's not that smart. We're just going to break our way in. And wait, what? I can't break the blocks. Uh, first, look away from the door you can see. I, I don't see anything sus or anything else suspicious, but there's no point looking at this door if it's not going to open for us. It's... Remember what I taught you, to conquer humanity, you must take what is strong and not what shines. Wait, test subject, did he teach you something? Iron is strong. Is that what the scientist taught you? Follow, follow me? Okay, well, I guess if the scientist taught Test Steve about this, then he's the only one who's going to know about it. So I guess we'll just follow him. There's no other real way. I guess we just dig up this iron and hope for the best, guys. Let's dig this through this. Um... There's a redstone torch. In Ooh, there's diamonds in here. Can I take these? I don't know. I don't want to take them just in case I'm still, like, it's still another test. Am I... I don't know. Am I missing something here, guys? There were, like, these blocks here. I don't know what these are called. Maybe they... Whoa! Whoa! Where did all those stairs come from? Yo! What? What is going on, guys? There's just stairs appearing here. What is going on? Wait. But the... But the door's not open. That doesn't... Yo! The door's opening. The door's opening. This fast. What in the world? Yo! There's a light. We gotta follow it, guys. Test Steve, I hope you're behind me right now. What's going on? There's another light. Yo! And another light. What is this place? And another one? Yo! What's in here? Yo! What is that? By breaking the glass. Here we go. Break the glass. Yes? No! Wait! What? What? No! Whoa! What? I'm really confused. I did see that the glass broke. So, potentially that could mean we could get through? I don't know, maybe that was some sort of fail-safe mechanism. Maybe it's like the scientist has some sort of defense thing to stop people from getting through. What do you think, Test Steve? Do you reckon that's possible? All right, cool. We'll head up here again, guys, and we should be able to get through now, now that we've destroyed the glass. That was really, really weird, guys. Yo, what? Okay, so the scientist was a little smarter than I thought. His defense, like, when we broke the glass, it must have set up some sort of defense mechanism that teleported us away, tried to kill us with full damage. 
And now this area is filled with lava and whatever those things are. Okay, this is ridiculous. Getting through here is going to be very tricky. All right, Test Steve, please don't fall in the lava. All right, so we're going to jump around here. Do not touch those things. Whatever they are, look at this. Ready? I walk in and oh my gosh! <sighs> okay, guys, this is going to be a lot trickier than I thought. This entire pathway is covered with these danger things. If I touch those things one more time, I'm going to die. Oh my gosh, guys, this is actually giving me... I'm actually getting so freaked out right now. Okay, we get through here. Yo! Yo! Oh my gosh! I almost walked into that snappy thing. I know this is risky, but we don't have a lot of other options. I want you to run through that as quick as you can. Hopefully, we won't take damage. Run! 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 Okay, I didn't take damage. It's safe. You can do it. Okay. Wait. What? What is this? Now there's a door of arrows? And now we have to get through that. Do we take damage? Okay. Wait. Yo! It's a trick! We don't take damage! Through. Watch this. No damage, dude. No damage. Come on. You can do it. Test Steve, you can trust me. You can trust me. Dude, we're in the lab. No way. What? Look at this place. Wait, was this red before? Uh, Test Steve, I don't remember this being red. If this has gone red, is that because we broke in? Yo, this place is insane. Can we get through here? No, this place is walled off as well. Wait, there are three cells here, guys. Three cells, three test subjects. Look, Test Steve. Test Steve looks really sad. He seems to remember this place. There's that massive door over there. Do you think we can get through that, Test Steve? Yeah, all right. Well, let's see whether we can get up here. We'll come up here. Yo! Whoa, guys, did you see that? Test Steve, yeah. Test Steve, try walking up to that door. Go. <laughs> guys, when we walk up to the door, look at this, guys. Ready? We just get bounced away. I don't really know. It might be like that door in the private chamber back at the scientist lab where only Test Subject 3 could get through and open it for us for later. I'm also really curious. What is this thing? Like... It seems like I could stand in here. Like, wait, yeah, we should test this, Test Steve. This could be a little dangerous, I know, but perhaps this, maybe walking in there will open up that door for us. So, I don't know, maybe, do you want to hit the lever when I walk in there, man? All right, so I'll jump in here. Three, two, one, go. Um, oh, oh, whoa, okay, I'm inside the pistons. Um, yo, yo, Test Steve, what? I'm inside the, I'm inside the cell, I'm inside the cell. No, T Test Steve, can you let me out? He can't let, guys. Look at this, I am mining fatigue. I can't break the glass. Look at how slow my pickaxe is moving. Test Steve, you can't let me out either. I I don't know what to do. I I give up. <sighs> Guys, I just What am I supposed to do right now? I give up. Yo! Okay. Um, um, Test Steve? You might wanna look behind you! It's corrupt, Steve! It's corrupt, Steve! Yo, Test Steve, run! 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 Guys, 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 guys. Okay, I wish I could do something right now. I'm just... Okay, this is bad. This is bad. Corrupt Steve is chasing Test Steve. Test Steve only has a diamond for guys to protect himself. Okay. okay. Test Steve! Test Steve! Wait, what's Test Steve? Yo! Corrupt Steve, throw a potion at Test Steve! Test Steve, attack him! Attack him, Test Steve! No! Test Steve's dead! Yo! He's gone. Okay, what? Test Steve just died. Can we get out? Can we get out? No, we still have the mining fatigue. I knew the red beacon was signaling someone. It must have signaled corrupt Steve that someone broke into the cell and now he's gone and he's left us in here. We need to think of an escape plan. Our mining fatigue is gone. So we should be able to break out of this cell and then we should be good. So can we? Yes. Okay, good. Guys, we can break through the glass. I need to. I'm so excited that we can do this, but I'm trying to keep my voice down because I don't want to attract any attention guys but i think we should be good maybe if we head through this door does this are we still not able to get no nah, okay we still can't get through that door guys has anything changed yo wait what test subject three okay this is a little weird guys he seems trapped in there though guys like could corrupt steve or the scientists be doing this as a punishment yo they could be testing something on him guys are you trapped in there can you hear me are you trapped Wait, he's moving. He's trapped in there, guys. This could all be a trap, guys, to try and get us to let him out, and then he kills me. This could all be set up for me. I know this isn't very trustworthy, but test subject three, if we let you out, do you promise not to kill us and help me find corrupt Steve? He's a what? That's, yes, that's a yes, guys. I'm gonna try breaking the glass, and then once he gets out, I'm gonna pull out my diamond sword just so he knows who's in charge here. All right, guys, let's go ahead and break it. Wait, no. 
Guys, we can't break it either. Look, I'm literally, if I get if I get my pickaxe, I can't break the cell, guys. Oh, what do we do? Okay, guys, so I had a little bit of a look around in the room. In fact, not a little bit, like 15 minutes. But what I did notice, guys, is have a look at this. I don't remember it being open last episode. So I think maybe Corrupt Steve or the scientist has left it open. Now, test subject three, I will be back. Don't you worry. I'm just gonna try and find some controls to let you out. So let's have a look down here, guys. What is this? Yo, look at this, guys. It's got, like, the Corrupt Steve stuff coming out of it. Like, there's just this black corruption coming out of this blinking eye, guys. And look at it. It's just going across the walls. I don't think we would be able to get through there. Wait, what is in there? Yo! Wait, what? Guys, the door opened. Um, okay, guys, we're in here. Look at this. There's corruption in here as well. I'm a little bit worried about what could be in here, guys. This looks really familiar, guys. Cell one, cell two, and cell three. Pull the lever. Three... Two, one, pull the lever and go. Um, did that do anything? Yo, wait, guys, the cell vanished. There's no glass here. Did the lever only just affect this cell? What does this say? Test subject, one, two, three, recharge steps. So let's have a look at this chest, guys. Yo, there is so much stuff in here. Recharge steps, we need that. All right, and what else is in here, guys? Is there anything else we're missing? Um, matter recharge, what's this? We'll take that. I'm really confused what that is, guys. Is th there's another one of it in here, Matter Recharge. We'll take that as well, I guess. And all this other stuff seems pretty useless. We can leave that in there for now, but it might be useful to us later. I don't know, guys. Let's ch let's check the cell back there, guys. I'm really, really confused. Yo, okay, let's have a look down here. Did this do anything? Test subject three is out. Let's go, we freed him. Wait, sort out. Just being very cautious here, guys. Test subject three. All right, test subject three. Let's get this clear. We work as partners. Do you understand? He understands, guys. You get anywhere near me, and I will end you, okay? All right, okay. Test subject three. All right, guys. I think test subject three is friendly. I don't know whether I'm going crazy, but that is an actual in-game sound. That's nothing else, guys. I can hear it through my headphones. I think the only real option is to give him signs, guys. Why were you trapped? I rebelled. Is that why test subject three was trapped? But why did he rebel? I don't get it. Does he... Do you want revenge? I have my reasons. Yo, that sounds really ominous. What does he mean by that? I have my reasons? I need your help. I don't know how I feel about that, guys. I don't get it. Why would I help you? You have killed me so many times. It's actually ridiculous, man. Hades. He took my powers. Hades. Is Hades the scientist? I Literally, what am I supposed to do, man? There's nothing I can do. You can make the matter gem. What in the world is Matter Gem? I don't know how to make Matter Gem. Go wait, Matter Gem. Does that have something to do with this Matter Recharge Potion, guys? Wait, wait, wait. Recharge Steps. Did, did it mention Matter Gem in here? Brew Matter Gem. I don't know how to make Matter Gem, Test Subject 3. I wish I could because it seems like this Matter Gem thing, guys, is important. I don't know how to make it, man. Follow me. You lead the way. Okay, where is he heading, guys? He's Okay, he's heading up here. He's taking us into this room. Um... What else is in this room? Wait, yo, can you open that door, Test Subject 3? Wait, really? All right, let's go then. What do you want to show me? All right, whoa. Okay, well, sure, the door's open now. Yo, what is this, guys? What is that? Matter Furnace? What's this? Corrupt Bat Test 005. Yo, look at those bats, guys. They all have red eyes. And what's this? Matter Compound. What is that? Is that like a compressed version of the matter gem or whatever it is? Or is, th or is that matter gem itself? The, ch the chest? You want me to look in the chest? All right, then. Yo, look at all this stuff, guys. Endstone? Corrupt matter? Corrupt matter! Is that what corrupt Steve leaves behind? Is matter gem the linking tool that gives all the test subjects their power? Because corrupt matter, that looks exactly like the stuff that corrupt Steve leaves behind. We've got some stuff here. There's a book. Matter production by Anonymous. Could this be the instructions to the matter machine? Wait, let's have a look, guys. Matter gem production system instructions. This is the machine we need to make to make matter gem and give test subject three back his powers. Test subject three, is there anything in that room that might be able to help us? Can you open that door as well? Yes, all right, come on, man. We gotta, I need all the help we can get because what are we gonna do? Yo, wait, that looks like me. Dude, you need to open that. Seriously, he looks really sad, guys. Yo, what? Guys, test subject three, you're seeing that, right? Yo, wait, wait. 
Guys, I'm just gonna take off my armor here. Yo, it's an exact match. Why is there a player model of me in the scientist lab? Yeah, what does it say above me? Test subject four? Test subject four? What does that make me? Uh, guys, I actually have no clue what this could mean. Does this mean the scientist is planning to make experiments on me? What is test subject three looking at? Target acquired. That's the village lab and this red circle? Guys, that's around our house. Yo, what does this mean, guys? Yo, what is this? System match? This is so strange, guys. Could the scientist be trying to hunt me down next? We have no other option. We need to make this matter jam fast. And then we need to give it to test subject three so he gets his powers back. All right, test subject three. Let's go ahead and check out these instructions right away. All right, here we go. Holy guys, we need a ton of resources for this. And I just don't have any of these resources. Um, Test subject three, would you by any chance have an idea where the resources might be? Yes, yes. Wait, okay, where are we going? Oh, it inside this chest? Actually, that kind of makes sense, guys. Is it? Oh, but we're just going to grab all of the corrupt matter. That's in the chest as well. Do we need corrupt matter to make the matter gem? All right. That's a little weird, guys. Why is there corrupt matter in the chest? The next thing. All right, let's, let's, okay. We got the resources. Let's check out these steps. So here we go. Matter gem production system instructions. Notes. Stay at least three blocks away when activating potentially reversible source the forbidden archives. Um, now, step one. Build four glass columns above ender eyes, three blocks tall. Above ender eyes. Are there ender eyes in this room? Test subject three, do you have any idea where these ender eyes are? Yes, he does. In there? But dude, the wall's closed off. I can't get in there. Guys, seriously, having test subject three on our side is actually being a huge plus right now. This, this chest? Um... Uh, he's just opening it, guys. I'm really confused. What is he, what is he trying to show us? Out here? Yo, what? You're telling me those chests open up this door? Sweet, guys. All right. Okay, test subject three is leading the way, guys. Here we go. We're about to find out what's going on up here. Yo. Yo, look at the size of this room, guys. Huge, yo, there's lava. I almost ran straight in the lava. Wait, oh, these are the ender eyes. Corrupt guardian test 67. Yo, what is this thing? What's in there? Those are like just guardians. Yo, those are normal guardians. They have red eyes as well. That's like the corrupt bat test over in the matter production room, guys. But let's go ahead and get started making this matter production machine. So here we go, guys. Step 10, activate the redstone. All right, guys, ready? Three, two, one, hit the lever, bang, yo, the machine's activating, the pistons went in, end run, up, yo, what's that, what's that in the middle, what just happened, yo, the wall's lighting up as well, look at that guys, the wall's lighting up and the pistons are moving, okay, test subject three, what is this, what is this, this must be the matter gem guys, this is, let's turn off the machine real quick here, bang, all right, machine off, yo, that's so weird, guys. When you turn the machine off, all the redstone blocks go back to endstone. The magma block, the endrog, they all disappear and it just leaves you back. Dig it up. Guys, look at that. It's the matter gem. Are you seeing this test subject three? What in the world, guys? Look at this. Who knows what this thing could do, guys? We actually made the matter gem. So now that we've got it, does that mean that you can get your powers back? Yes. All right, all right, all right. Here you go. Have the matter gem. Uh, is anything happening? Do you have your powers back, test subject three? No? Wait, but we made the matter gem and we gave him the matter gem. It, it's, it's not working? Test subject three, maybe we might be able to find, I don't know, some sort of hint or a machine or instru or more instructions or maybe notes from the scientists. So I think that's definitely the first place we've got to check out. So you coming, man? All right, so in the matter gem room. Now, we definitely looked in this chest, guys. This is where we found all these stuff to make the matter gem machine. We haven't looked in this chest yet. But it's also covered by a block, so I can't open it. Now, the only thing I'm a little bit worried about, if I destroy this block, will those bats come coming out and start, like, attacking me? Because honestly, bats with red eyes, they kind of scare me. And if I break this block, I don't want bats suddenly flying absolutely everywhere and creating serious problems. I don't really want to be the one to blame if something goes wrong. So here we go. I'm going to give you my pickaxe, all right? I want you to break the block because I'm not doing it. I'm standing way back here. If something goes wrong, man, I am out. Holy moly, destroy. Yeah, okay, good. I don't think the bats are coming out. I think we're safe. Thanks, test subject three. Thanks for doing that. I was actually scared. Yo, look at that. So let's go ahead and see whether there's anything in this chest, guys. Yo, there's definitely stuff in this chest. Look, there's matter gem in this chest as well. I wonder if this book has anything. Appendix 9.1. 
I've definitely heard of Appendix 9 somewhere before. Let's grab the book. We'll also grab the brewing stand, redstone, nether wart, hopper, dispenser, block of iron, matter gem, and glass. What I'm thinking is this Appendix 9.1 might have something to do with making some sort of matter potion, which might be the way to bring test subject three back his powers. So let's go ahead and open this up, guys. Appendix 9.1, basic matter potion recipe. One, place water bottle in brewing stand. So there was a brewing stand in the chest, guys. So as you guys can see, the book did have something to do with the items in the chest, as usual, guys. Two, brew nether wart. Three, brew matter gem. And optional, brew gunpowder for splash effect, okay? Brew dragon's breath for lingering effect, all right? And how to apply, use cell three appendix reinforced with iron. To apply, we need to use the cell three appendix reinforced with iron. If you guys remember, the cell three appendix was the same machine that we used to get the tonic two potion that made it so that we didn't get damaged by the blood rain. But that's all the way back in the scientist's bedroom in the village lab, guys. And it's also completely destroyed, meaning it's no longer reinforced with iron. Test subject three, you were able to find the room back there. Do you know any other places we might be able to build this brand new cell three appendix? The village lab? Wait, you're suggesting we head all the way back to the village lab to build this thing? That should be everything we need in order to make the matter gem apply on test subject three. I'm not sure whether that works. I'm just gonna make sure everything's good to go. We've got the matter gem potions in the dispenser. When he stands on the pressure plate, that should activate the redstone, that should activate the pressure. All right, guys. Okay, test subject three. I'm not sure whether this is gonna hurt. I'm really sorry if it does. You're just gonna have to stay strong, man, please. And when you get your powers back, just just don't try and kill me with them, please. What I'm gonna do, guys, is chuck the, uh, chuck the heat energy in here, guys. We'll start that. The furnace is activating. You can stand on the pressure plate in three. Two, one. All right, stand on the pressure plate. Okay, that applied the potion masher. The potion of Yo, yo, whoa. Okay, there's lightning. There's lightning. Holy moly. Guys, look. Corrupt matter is appearing below. Yo, the corrupt matter is infecting the room. Yo, there's lightning here as well. Corrupt matter is infecting the room. Does this mean the matter gem potion works? I don't really know. I don't really know. Okay, no, I don't like this. We're getting out of the room. We're getting out of the room. We're getting out of the room. Activate this. Okay, bang. Are we going to have to use... It's like, yo, I hear explosions. Did you guys hear that? I heard an explosion. Guys, it is okay to look. Guys, I don't know. I don't even want to know what's happening there. Where's test subject three? Yo, guys, whoa. The entire roof exploded. Guys, what just happened? He's not in here, guys. He's not in any of the cells. I don't know. There's that one room right at the end here, guys, but I doubt... Guys, it's, he's here. Test subject three. Test subject three, we found you. Oh, wait, no, he's walking to me slowly. Yo, test subject three. Do you have your powers back? Yes. The matter gem clearly worked. We're, we're a team, right? Guy, wait, do you guys hear that? Guys, it's test subject three's voice again. He's trying to contact us again, guys. Let's give him some signs. Here we go. Here we go, man. What is he trying to tell us? I hate this place. Like, this lab? Well, I guess that makes sense, guys. This is where the scientist experimented on him. And, you know, I want to show you something. Yeah, anything, man. Show me. I. Do you think he's going to show us the power of the matter gem, guys? I don't know. Test subject three, where are you taking me? Yo, guys, there's another secret room hidden back here. How have we never seen that? How many rooms does the scientist have? Yo, guys, look at this place. What in the world, guys? But what do these signs say? Lava, execute, TNT, execute, zombies, execute, clear? Yo, wait, wait, the button does that? Wait, click the lava button. Yo, and the TNT. Guys, what in the world? Did the scientist use this room to test on the test sub? This is horrible, guys. What else is in here? This is crazy. Look, guys, we also have... Wait, zombies? What does this do? Holy moly. Okay, clear, clear, clear. The scientist must have used this room to test the powers of the matter gem, to test the powers of the test subject. That's so messed up, guys. UUID 017 strength test and a lever. What in the world? What is that? It's like some sort of machine that like, how does that test one's strength by like crushing them? Guys, that is horrible. Turn that off, turn that off. I don't want to see, that's horrible. I can't believe the scientists did something like that. What else is in here? This is a horrible. UUID 004 effects tester? What does this do? 
Oh my gosh, guys. What in the world? Yo, when you sit in the chair, it gives you... Yo, okay, no. It gives you slowness and nausea. This is messed up, guys. I need to get out. Do you see? Oh my, okay. Why would the scientists do something like this? Yo, what else is in this room, guys? Guys, are you seeing that? Let me know in the comments below if you were seeing that. That is a statue of Test Subject 3. Wait, stand next to it, Test Subject 3. Go. Yo, guys, this is horrible. Look at that. But this, this, the sub, the statue looks like more corrupted than Test Subject. Look at that, guys. The arms corrupted and the legs corrupted as well. I wonder what that could mean. Yo, what's this thing? Matter gem enhancer? Place matter gem in here. All right, guys, we're going to take a risk. Let's put the matter gem in here. Bang. Um... We've got a new matter gem. Let's... Okay, let's pick that up. It doesn't seem like there's anything different about it, guys. Holy moly! The matter gem is huge! That's crazy! I wonder what kind of potions we can make with this enhanced matter gem, guys. That's insane. Wait, test subject three, don't tell me that the scientist used all these horrible torture machines on you guys. Yes, he did. I was his favorite. Oh, test subject three, I'm so sorry. I can only imagine the kind of pain you must have endured. This is why we have to make the scientists pay. This is why we have to we have to take him out, guys. Like, wait, there's a chest here, guys. All right, so here we go. What's in this chest? Test subject blood sample, corrupt matter. That's here as well. And there's a book here. Extract CM by Hades. What does this mean? Let's have a look, guys. Extract corrupt matter. Removes admin permissions? May result in extreme pain. Oh, that's horrible. Will result in clean test subject 002. Cure me. It's not going to be you anymore. What if something goes wrong? It says in the book here, may result in extreme pain. Are you sure, test subject? I don't want to put you through something if it's going to be worse. I don't want to be as bad as a scientist. Trust me. Okay, we're going to cure you. Let's go ahead and start building this machine, guys. So we'll go ahead, jump up here. Where do we start, guys? All right, guys, you ready to see whether this works? We're going to hit the lever in three, two, one. Hit the lever. Okay, the pistons come down. Is anything happening? Yo, look at the chest, guys. Corrupt matter is... Okay, the machine's... The chest is full. Does that mean the machine's worked? I don't really know. We'll pick that up. 27 corrupt matter, guys, from Test Subject 3, guys. I don't even want to look at what may have happened to Test Subject 3, guys. Here we go. We're going to do it. Guys, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Test Subject 3 is actually alive. That's not Test Subject 3. That's Test Steve. Test Steve is alive. Wait. Wait, what? But Test Subject 3 and Test Steve aren't the same person? Or are they? I don't understand what's going on. Test Steve, you're alive. Are you going to talk to me? Wait. What? What? Test Steve? Wait, what's going on? Is that Test Subject 3 or is that Test Steve? Where is he going? He's not even looking at me. What's going on? Why is he running away from me? Why? What is he doing? He's not even... He didn't even look at me. He just walked out the door and he's just looking at the lake. I don't understand. Test Steve? Test Subject 3? Test Steve? Hello? Maybe if we give him signs, he'll talk to us. Okay, okay. Um, here we go, give him signs. Test. Oh, he's picked up the signs. Wait, he's writing something. You left me to die. Oh, I see. He doesn't want to, he doesn't want to have anything to do with me anymore. He doesn't want to talk to me anymore. Together, I still want to work with you. We can still work together. I have... The matter gem now. I'm able to give you powers, Test Steve. And with those powers, you should be able to help. We could, we together, we could take out the scientist. We could, we could get, stop him from all these horrible things he's done. Please, Test Steve, work with me again. I, here's the matter gem. We can work together again. Holy moly. Yes, Test Steve, it's true. Look, you have the powers. Guys, look at this. Test Steve still has the powers of the matter gem potion, guys. He still has the powers. Wait, okay, what is he doing? Okay, I forgive you. Oh, Test Steve, thank you so much. Hey, Test Steve, it is so good to have you back. Look, dude, I'm so sorry I left you to die. I'm really confused what's happened. Do you remember anything that happened after you died? See, that's weird, guys. It still seems that the test subjects have their own individual memories, but basically, I gave your entity, I don't know, you're like, I just cured test subject three of his corrupt matter, and you somehow appeared. I don't understand what happened. And guys, you may notice that besides test Steve, we have a very special guest today, Rage! It's me! Um, so Rage, do you have any idea why you're here? <laughs> uh, no, I don't, actually. You, you just told me to hop on out of nowhere. You were like, hey, hop on this world with me, and I was like... Okay, sure, why not? I'm sorry for getting you into this. All right, but you see, the reason why you're here is because basically 
We found something incredible, right? We found something mm -hmm. crazy. There's this giant door. We can't get through it. And mm -hmm. behind it, I'm pretty sure there's something crazy dangerous behind it. And I okay. figured I'm not... If uh, By myself, I don't think I could do it. So I was hey, like, I'm all right, here with you, who man. is the master of all strange things? You are. I mean, Me. who else? I is this test Steve? This oh, he, is test Steve. Yeah. His head. Check this out. What the heck? This is like some huge laboratory so you see this is the ginormous lab it's absolutely huge now as you can see these are the three cell these are where the test subjects were tested on this is where he created all the different steves in minecraft inside mm -hmm. these test cells i'm pretty certain come on test steve let's see if we can do this yo yo if, if we can open up this door this might be the key this might be the key to get to the scientist right you might want to come back over here okay dude. okay 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 uh, I'll, all right test steve go back. break down the door holy moly Whoa! Go. what the it, it actually worked, worked. Yo, it Yo, worked. I can't believe it worked either, dude. I didn't think that was gonna... <laughs> the door actually broke down. What? Okay, okay. Let's have a look. What's going on? Yo, Rage, be careful. Who knows what could be there? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's like a huge Wait. pit. What? How are we supposed to get across that, dude? There might be something underneath. Dude, the there's... <gasps> wait, wait. Yo, there's Yo. class. Wait, test Steve, Stand back, stand back. Yo. Whoa, there's like a little like invisible pathway. I think Whoa. you might be right, Reg. I think that's some sort of invisible path to get across. But how do we know where the glass is? Because look, it doesn't go straight. Wait, you also mentioned that there was some sort of map that you saw before, right? Uh, there was a map. Testy, was there a map over in the in the other room? There was? I think... <gasps> like, like before you started recording, you were like, hey, we found a map in the last episode or something like that, right? Maybe. Let's go this, check it out. You think... And I think this is where the scientist did a bunch of his tests... Because you brought me in this world, I might become like test subject five or something because of you. Okay, I'm sorry, Rage, if something happens, but now you owe me a new computer and you owe <laughs> oh, me a new no. life. <laughs> All right, so this this is the room that makes the matter gem. This is where we make though that that's the power source for the test saves. This place is crazy. This is the map I was talking about, dude. On this wall. Ooh. Oh. See what I mean? It has some arrow. Wait. Weren't the two Ma glass boxes like that? Yeah, maybe like, the black the boxes are supposed to, like, you know, be the glass box? I think you might be right. Like and look, the at the end, there's like a <gasps> skull. Does that represent the scientist? No, or maybe this leads us to death. Oh, yo. I don't even want to think about that, dude. Do you, do you want to just take the chance while I'm still here? You're the expert of weird stuff, dude. You're the okay. expert. I'll take a picture of this so that we know where it is, dude. Okay, yeah, all right, go, here for we go. go for it. All right, all right, we're going to take a picture. Bang. And cha -cha. All right. got the picture. Cool, right, cool, we cool. We should be good. We um, should be good. Let's go back. All right, Let's so go we've back. got the map down. Let's head back. I'll go uh, first, dude. Okay, right, here we go. Guinea pig. Right, I've got the map out on my phone. Okay, so, so it's one more be. block forward. One. <gasps> yep. Right. It's, it works. Okay, so, oh. so it's the same. This is a jump. This is this is a jump right here. Okay, jump. Okay, here we go. Yo. Oh. Okay. 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 Can't I just oh, thank goodness uh, jump I have... from here? Oh, oh wait. Yeah, oh. you can. All right, I'm checking oh. my phone. I just got to make sure this is right. All right, here we go. One here. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. We made it. Range. What in the world, dude? What is this room? What is this place, dude? I do not know what this place is, but it looks creepy. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. This what does sign it say? says the creator of all Steve's. Wait, yo, yo. you were right. You said that this could be the spot where the scientist could be. That's why it was behind the massive door because not uh, sealed away the scientist. Shoot, dude. I, I don't know if we should stay here any longer. This guy is the one behind all the different Steves. Wait, what is what is Test Steve looking at now? A pressure plate? Yeah, yeah. That could release the creator of all Steves. Maybe maybe it could activate it. Wait, I'm gonna step on it. Wait, <gasps> what was that you sound? Did you guys hear that? It sounded like something broke. Something it sounds happened. broken or something. It's like it's like the machine's not working because something's broken. What is Test Steve looking at? It seems like Test Steve always knows what he's doing. <gasps> Wait, what is he doing? Uh, yo, what is? Do we follow him? Oh, wait, what? There's a pressure plate. Yo, whoa, 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 whoa. Stand back, dude. Wait, I, I just heard something, like, open up, like like a lever door or something. Maybe the pressure plate will work now. <laughs> Only one side no. lit up, dude. Look at this. There's, like, lights over there. There could be another pressure plate. There are three test subjects, so I'm thinking they might hmm. be three pressure plates, dude. Sh should I go and check? Dude, maybe, I maybe, don't maybe want you there's to... another pressure plate over there. Y you know what? I'll be the guinea pig this time. Leave a like, guys. Right, good Leave luck. a like for good luck. Guys, seriously, we need all the likes all right. we can get. This is seriously ridiculous. Here we go. Okay. Yo, okay. First jump. Okay, I, I hope I don't good. die, dude. Very questionable. Oh. 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 Okay. okay. Wait. Yo. You, you activated oh, it. I just you got something open like... up. Oh, whoa, whoa. What is going on? What is going on? Why don't you step on that first pressure plate again? You did step on it the first time. 
Maybe this is the key, the middle pressure plate. This has to be done. I'm sorry, man. Okay, you know what? All right, go oh, for it. Boy. Go for it. All right, three, two, oh my god, one. Here we go. Stay on the pressure plate. Yo, yo, what's going on? Yo, oh, what's going that? on? What's what that? What is going on? Oh my, is that the what is going on? What is going on there? Yo, yo, yo. Oh, oh, I'm on fire, I'm on fire. Oh, I'm on fire. Oh, oh, yo, what is that? What is happening? What is happening? What? What is that? Yo, yo, I don't know. What is that? That, that could be the, that looks like some sort of, it's corrupted, dude. It's got like oh, black Wait, wait, watch out, watch out, watch out, ice cream. Wait, yeah, stand closer. back. Yo, oh, stand back, stand back. He has a sword, sword and everything. Stand back. That is the creator of the city. Yo, it's got like it. one white eye and one red eye. Should we run? This might be our cue to know. run, dude. Yeah, maybe she should talk subject. to us. Scientist, scientist, can you talk to us? Oh, wait, 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 wait. where's it doing? going? Where's it going? What? Where's she going? It's just, it's just running away. Or walking wait, away. what? I, um, um, hello? I stream. Yo, what's that sound? What is that? Yo, it's some sort of alarm. What is oh, that? Yo, oh, 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 I stream, where are you? Flip? Oh, no. Oh, Oh, no, 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 we're in no, cells. Where, where did yo, Testy go? Rage, oh. we're stuck in here. Rage, where am I? Rage, we're stuck in the cells. Uh, um, okay, 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 we're gonna need your oh. help. There is up, up in the room I showed you earlier. There's a bunch of like levers and hey. stuff. Rage, uh. Rage, I think she's gonna kill us. You need to get quick. You need up there in the room we were up earlier. There's a bunch of levers where you saw the statue of me. Please, the, the, the room please. up there, right? Behind maybe that I black can unleash you. Oh, she's getting closer. Maybe, maybe, dude, I should, dude, just, maybe I should just run away. Dude, you need to save us, Rage. You uh, need to save us. Uh, Quick, please. Oh my god. I, okay, there. fine, there's fine, fine. There'll ah, be a bunch okay. of levers. Yo, the scientist is okay, here. I'm going, I'm going, oh, I'm no. going, I'm going. Um, dude, the oh, cell number me. one, cell number two, and cell number three. I'm in cell number uh, two. Get the lever that says cell number two. Go, 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 go. Okay, turn, okay, turn, I'll, turn. I'll hit stop, stop, I, I can't think. Please, uh, dude. Okay, number two, oh number two. Oh my god, I'm Yo, the side is hitting me. Rage, get back here, I need your help. The side is trying to kill me. Help, help, help. Okay, I'm help, coming, help, I'm help. coming. Quick, come back. The rage is trying to need your help. Oh, I need your help. oh my I'm god, oh my god. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna try to hit it. I'm gonna try to hit it. Go, 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 go. Wait, wait, what is it doing? What is she doing? What is that? What's going on? Yo, she's gone. It disappeared. The alarm stopped. Wait. That that sound, that annoying sound just stopped. What Yo, just happened, dude? dude? I talked to Rage just before I started recording. He didn't really have any idea as well, but there is one thing he mentioned. He said, maybe there's some sort of clue inside the scientist's room that might be able to lead us to where the scientist has disappeared off to. It was just an idea Rage had, and you know, generally he's pretty right about these things. I mean, what's the chances of actually finding something in that room that might lead us to the scientist? First off, let's cross this absolute death lava bridge, guys. So here we are, guys. If we stand on the pressure plate, does, does anything happen? Now, as you guys can see, now when we stand on the pressure plate, the redstone doesn't light up at all. You can guys can see that it doesn't work. All right, we'll jump over here. There's another chest over here. Do you guys reckon there might be something in here? I don't know, let's have a look. Yo, guys, there's something in here. What is this? There's glass, there's like obsidian, and, and there's gold, and there's like hoppers and nether bricks. Matter generator by anonymous. What's a matter generator? Okay, what is this? We need to have a look at this right now, guys. Matter power generator instructions? Notes. Must be contained. Two. Extremely toxic? Yo, guys, this is not something we should be messing with, but explosive qualities if not quarantined. Oh, whoa. Step one. Place one nether rack block on the left, right, and behind place gold blocks. Yo, guys, that's what these blocks were for. This matter power generator. What if we, because you see, look, when we activate this, the redstone isn't activating more, the lights aren't lighting up, but maybe if we make this matter power generator, it will go ahead and fuel this machine again and give it power and we can somehow make, like force the scientists to come back here and we can spawn the scientist in by using the matter power generator in order to depower this machine. Do you think that might work, Test Steve? Yo, guys, I think we're onto something. And maybe if we can get these lights to light up again, we can spawn in the scientist herself. And then finally, we can ask her some questions. Guess we're just gonna have to go get started, guys. So step one, place matter gem in furnace. So if we go ahead and do that. Uh, nothing's happening, Test Steve. I, I don't get what's going on. Is there something we missed? Wait, let's have a look at this. Modifications, refer to Appendix 13.1. Do you have any ideas, Test Steve? Yes? Wait, guys, we'll give him a sign and see what he says. Here, follow me. Okay, what does he want us to follow him for? Oh, maybe he knows where Appendix 13.1 is, guys. Where is he taking us? 
You want us to make another matter gem? But what's wrong with the matter gem that we had earlier? Do you guys remember when we were in that torture room over at the village lab, we put the matter gem in some machine and it gave us like an activated matter gem that was really huge? That was the huge matter gem, right, Test Steve? Maybe, guys, because that was like a matter gem that had been activated and tampered with, that it wouldn't work with the matter generator, guys. Because if we have a look at our power generator here, it says place matter gem. It doesn't say place activated matter gem. Go ahead, hit the lever. Kablam! Fingers crossed! Fingers crossed! Yeah! It actually worked. All right, cool. We've got the matter gem ore here, guys. Let's dig this up. And voam! Now we have another matter gem. Throw it in. Yo! Holy moly, it worked! It actually worked! Yo! What? Guys, look at that. The pipe just turned blue. That must mean the matter gem power is actually traveling through the pipes, guys. And the light turned on, guys. I heard the sound. It must have worked. Wait, you guys look this lightning. That means the scientist is... Test Steve? You saw that, right? Bang. Let's destroy that obsidian. Yo! She's in there. She's not moving. Yo, she's looking at me. Wait. Yo, holy moly, what? Where did she go? Wait, what? What just happened? Wait, did she come down here? Wait. Did we lose the scientist again? I'm gonna go ahead and get the editor to play that in super slow motion right now, guys. But as you can see, I'm pretty certain I saw the scientist move really, really quickly, like just dash out. It's like she had some sort of super speed on her, guys. Every time we try and bring in the scientist, she gets away. Like, look, the scientist is nowhere to be seen. I can't see her anywhere, guys. What are we supposed to do? So we're gonna have to use ourselves as a bait. Trap. Now, I have an idea what I want to build. I want to build an inescapable piston trap. I guess this has got to be the perfect place to build a trap. What do you reckon, Testy? All right, guys, I guess we're gonna go ahead and build the trap here. My idea is, guys, a trap that pushes blocks back and forth so the scientists can't break them and can't escape. So first off, what we're gonna do, guys, is dig out this section right here, guys. We're gonna dig all of this out. Guys, I'm gonna pretend I'm the scientist, guys. Now, the scientist is walking here, lured in by us as the bait, and the scientist, she falls in here and hopefully jumps in here, and it actually works, guys. Check it out. Look at that. You get pushed between really quickly, but it's so fast that you don't get suffocated, so the scientist won't die while she's in here, and as you guys can see, there is no way of you getting out, guys. So, now that we know it works, I need to get out. All right, guys, so we know it works. Let's go ahead and set this up again. And now we need to somehow get the scientist to stand on this block. Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. I have captured them for you. And then we do corrupt Steve. So then, guys, it looks like corrupt Steve was the one that captured us. When the scientist comes here to read the sign, we can go ahead from inside the cage, pull the lever, she will fall through into the trap. If the trap works, she won't be able to escape. Once we've done that, yeah, we're gonna have to figure a way to get her back to the village lab. But right now, guys, our number one concern is trying to trap her. Oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's a scientist. Oh. Is, she, is she gonna fall for the trap? Holy moly, guys, she might have actually fallen for the bait. She's come for us, she's actually come for us, Testy. Wait, she's looking at, she's gonna see the sign. She's looking at us. Guys, she needs to go up to the sign. We just needed to go to that block. Come on, come on, come on. She's at the block, she's looking at the sign. Pull the lever, go. She's falling the trap. I can hear the pistons working. Quick, we gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. Has it worked? Is she in there? The trap's working, guys. I think we captured the scientist. We did it, test team. We actually did it. The idea is, is that once we let the scientist out, we need to get her all the way to the village lab and remove the corrupt matter from her. Because if you guys remember, we removed the corrupt matter from test subject three and he became good. He became test Steve. Then maybe we can create a clean version of her and we'll actually be able to talk to that clean version. How in the world, test Steve, are we going to get the scientist back to the village lab? Now I thought and I thought and I thought and I just couldn't have an idea. But then I was reading through the comments, guys, and one of you had a genius idea. I'll have it come up on the screen right now. A Hardwick wrote this really long comment, guys, but there's one bit that really stood out to me. It was, also try water. There is a reason for this. TS1, or Corrupt Steve, is completely corrupted. His weakness is water. The scientist is corrupted. Her weakness may be water too, guys. And then it was like, boom, mind blown. The only thing is, is we don't know whether water will actually work as a weakness on her, because we know it worked on Corrupt Steve, but Scientist is only half corrupted, which means that it could only semi-weaken her, guys. Here's a water bucket, and yo, the scientist is down there, the scientist is down there. Drop the water, drop the water, go, 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 go. Yo, the scientist, look, she's like spinning, she's spazzing out. What in the world? What's going on under there? Yo, look, the scientist, she's spazzing out. The water is working, guys. Well, I think it is. 
Okay, the scientist is down there. She's not trying to kill us. Scientist, or whatever your name is, we don't want to hurt you, all right? The water idea may have worked. I think we might have weakened her just enough. Scientist, we aren't trying to kill you. We just want to help you, all right? We're going to go back to the village lab. We're not going to try and hurt you. I'm sorry I weakened you with the water, but you'll, you'll thank me later. I promise. We will stand away from you. We won't try and kill you. We're not trying to hurt you. Keep our distance. We'll stand behind and we'll prove to you that we're not going to even try and hurt you, all right? Just start walking towards the village lab and we'll follow behind. We won't hurt you. Guys, I think it's working. I think it's working. Scientist is actually listening to us. Wait, she stopped moving? Wait. What is she doing? Yo, she's got Abbott's sword, she's turning around. Yo, what is going on? Yo, she's running towards us. Help me, test deep, test deep. Hit it with the lightning, hit it with the lightning. Yo, she's passing out, keep going, keep going, test deep. Hit it with the mana gem, hit it with the mana gem. She's passing out, she's turning where? Drop the diamond sword. She's dropped the diamond sword, we've got it. Scientists, look, we don't wanna do that again, okay? But here's the thing, if you don't go back and follow us to the village lab, we are not afraid to stun you again with that matter gem, all right? Okay, she understands, guys. All right, let's start heading back. Get our diamond sword out. Come on, scientist. We're going to start heading back to the village lab. We've got her in position for the corrupt matter removal machine. You ready to see where this works, Test Steve? This is the moment of truth. Here we go, guys. Hopefully, we can remove the corrupt matter from her. In three, two, one. Pull the lever. There we go. Okay, is it working? Let's check the chest, guys. Yo, it's working! Corrupt matter is being removed from her. It's actually working, guys. Insane. I can't believe this is working. Yo! Oh my gosh! That did not happen last time. Oh my gosh, the machine's gone. Don't no, get out, get out, quick, test him. I don't like this. Get out, quick. Close the door. Holy moly, what in the world is going on? Yo, she just destroyed the machine. Yo, what? Guys, she's glitching. I see the weakness. Yo, holy moly, there's lava. What is she doing? Quick, um, uh, zap her, test him, go. Quick, weaken her. Weaken her again. Go, go, go. Yo, what is going on, guys? I think the water wore out. I think she just got her powers back. The power potion machine. We need to turn her into a power potion. We need to rebuild this machine ASAP. Test Steve, I'm going to need you to stop zapping her. All right, she stopped zapping her. Pull the potion lever, go. She's disappeared. Is it work? Yo, I think it worked. I think that's the power potion. All right, here we go. Moment of truth, Test Steve. Did this work or did this not? Okay, here we go. Creator's powers. We did it! The power potion machine worked! We turned the creator of Steve's into a power potion! How are we going to do this? We're going to need to somehow rebuild the corrupt matter machine, but we need to do it so she's constantly in water, so that she's constantly weakened, and she has no way of destroying it. I'm not really sure. We're gonna have to modify the design. Alright guys, we're gonna throw down the potion in three, two, one. Throw it down, go! Yo, there's the scientist. The scientist did actually work, guys. Wait, pull the lever. Go, 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 go. All right, the piston's down. She's still... I can see the particle effects going, guys. She's stuck in there. I think the water must have weakened her. She doesn't seem to be moving. Is it working? Yo, the corrupt matter is filling into the chest. I think it's working. I think it's actually working, guys. She hasn't tried to destroy anything yet. It's almost done. It's done, guys. Wait, I hear lightning. What's that? Yo, it worked. Look, the corrupt matter's gone, guys. She has poison on her. Yo, that's not good. I think the water might be damaging her. We need to get rid of the water quick. Go, 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 go. Fill in all this water. Go, go, go. All right, we're filling the water. Let's jump down. Water, go, 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 go. It's got to go. It's got to go. Yo, the scientist is coming out. Guys, there's the corruption's gone. What is she doing, guys? Stand back, Test Steve. She could still be evil. We don't know for sure. Yeah, yeah, get the, get the activator matter gem out. Are you okay? I think that's a yes. I think that's a yes nod, guys. I think it worked. I think we managed to remove the corruption from the scientist and... Does this mean the scientist is actually good? The scientist could actually be good. What does it say here? May result in extreme pain. Caution. Maybe removing the corrupt matter from her must have really, like, injured her. Do you need to rest? I think that's a yes nod. Come up here. Just follow me. I'm not going to hurt you. Now, I know it isn't much, but here's a little room you can stay to rest. It's okay. You can sleep. You ready for this test, Steve? It's time to finally answer the questions that I've been wanting to know for so long. This series has been building up to this. All right, here we go. Yo, the door's open. What? Testy, look at this. The door's open. We didn't leave the door open last episode, did we? The scientist, she's gone. There's nothing in here. She's actually gone. What? This is bad. This is very bad. This is very bad. Testy, this is the, this was a mistake, guys. I shouldn't have disconnected from the world. Maybe she's down here. I really 
don't know. Is she anywhere down here, guys? She's nowhere in the lab here. Maybe she's in her bedroom. You know, like the broken down bedroom? Maybe she's there. If not, where else could she have gone? There's nowhere she could have gotten to the other lab. I don't know. Let's head down here. Wait, she's blocked off the water. The water definitely was flowing down here before. She must have been down here. Wait, yo, the door's open. The door wasn't open before. Oh, we gotta stay completely out of sight. Come around right around here, Testy. We gotta be really, really careful. Let's see. Yo, that chest is open. Wait. Yo, there's the scientist. Hide behind the wall, hide behind the wall. Yo, what is she doing? Guys, there's the scientist herself. Hold. All right, here we go, guys. We're gonna confront the scientist. Here we go, here we go. What is she doing, guys? She's looking at the map. Yo. Yo, okay, she's seen us. Yo, she's pulling out a diamond sword. Where did she get that? Back, 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 Testy. Get back, get back. Testy, tell her we come in peace. Do you guys hear that? Wait, wait, we can give her signs. That's right. That's why I made all the signs, guys. Here we go. Here we go. We'll give her some signs. Do you... Hold up. We're in caps. Do you understand us? Question mark. Wait. Okay. She's read the sign. What is she doing? I do not understand you. Then how did you know what we wanted you to do? I am connected to the test subjects. Wait. The scientist is connected to the test subjects? I mean, I guess that makes sense considering she created them. So, do you understand test Steve? Question mark? Do you mean test subject two? Oh, right, guys. Yes. All right, there we go. What is she doing? Is she putting down? Okay, she's putting down another sign. I can understand him, but not you. Oh, okay, guys. So... From what I can tell, because she invented the test Steves, guys, because she created them, she must be somehow connected to them. And because of that, she can understand them. But unfortunately, she can't understand us. Maybe we can communicate to the scientist through test Steve here. Test Steve, if I tell you a message, can you tell the scientist for me? All right, so let's see whether this works. So I think my first question for the scientist is, why is she connected to the test subjects? I think... I think it's working. She can understand test team. Because Hades connected us? She's not Hades? Ask her, she's not Hades? What? Wait, I thought she was Hades. I thought the scientist was Hades. Yo, I'm so confused. Wait, okay. She, test team's communicating with the scientist. What is, don't say his name. Wait, but test team, ask the scientist. Didn't she write all the book? I'm so confused. What? All right, test team's communicating with the scientist. You know too much. He will find you. Hey, he? You mean Hades? Hades will find me? Yo, this is bad. This is bad. I can't believe that she's not the... She's not Hades. Test team, can you ask her? Does that mean she didn't create the test subjects? Test team, can you ask her? Is she actually not evil then? Is that what's going on? All right, they're communicating. No, I was corrupted. Well, that makes sense, guys. Test Steve, can you ask her who corrupted her? Let me show you. Show us what? She's on the move, Test Steve, we've got to follow her. So I followed the scientist all the way back here to the central lab. She's just kind of been running back and forth. I don't know, it seems like she's looking for something. Wait, I think she's trying to get our attention, Test Steve. Yo, she's on the move, what? She, does she want us to follow her? It seems like she wants us to follow her, Test Steve. I think we're gonna have to do it. I don't know, Rage didn't spot anything down here, so I don't... I don't think there's anything down here. Wait, what is- Yo! Testy, can you ask the scientist, is this what she was trying to show us? <gasps> yes, okay, this is what the scientist was trying to show us. She wants to show us what's ever down there, but we can't get down there. There's way too much lava, guys, and I do not want to risk dying. How are we gonna- Testy, can you ask the scientist if she's got, like, another route? There is no way we are gonna be able to get past that lava. No way at all, guys. Yes, there is another way. Wait, what is she trying to do? She's like, look, she's like, yo! Guys, she just punched the lava and it turned into corrupt matter. Was that her? Yo, that's insane. Guys, she wants us to keep following her? Yo, wait. Oh my gosh. What is this, guys? It's like some sort of ancient machine, but it's been infested with that corrupt matter stuff, guys. Literally, what is this place, guys? Yo, look. That's the same, like, red flickering light that's over in the other parts of the lab and over at the testing room back at the village lab. This is so weird, guys. This is actually giving me chills. I do not like this one bit at all. What? Can you ask the scientist, what, what is this? Okay, they're talking. I need to know what this is, guys. This is 
so, so strange. A corruption outlet? So if an outlet, I know for like when you have a plug, guys, when you plug a plug into a wall, guys, it's called an electric outlet and it's where electricity comes out. So if this is a corruption outlet, does that mean this is where the corruption comes from? I don't know, is this where corruption comes out of? I mean, it makes sense because you can see here that like the corruption is coming out in like, as I said, like these tentacle things. Was this something she found or was this one of her inventions? Test it, can you ask her, was this one of her inventions? <laughs> It was him. Who's him? Test Steve, who's him? Okay. The one that shall not be named. The one who shall not be named? I honestly don't know, but I think it must be Hades. And if Hades is the one who invented this corruption outlet, does that mean he's the one who corrupted, like, Test Steve making him test subject three, the one who corrupted the scientist? I don't think it was the scientist. I think all along, it was Hades. Test Steve, can you tell the scientists that we are going to track down Hades and we are going to finally put an end to his reign of terror? All right, he's telling the scientists. Let's see what she... Wait, no, okay, no. She doesn't seem too happy. She seems to be like freaking out, guys. Wait, what's going on? I'm so confused. What is... She's not down for this, guys. I don't know what... What is... I know Hades is evil, but is it really... That bad? Test Steve, I need you to tell the scientist that I'm gonna do it with you. And she can join us whether she likes it or not, because we're doing it. We are going to do this. I'm with you. All right, she's with us, guys. But, wait, but? But what? You will need this. What do I need? Wait, she's holding a book. Is this, what is this? Matter Gem V2? Yo, guys, what is the Matter Gem version 2? Whatever it is, the scientist seems to think I'm going to need it to take down Hades. Thank you. Test Steve, can you say thanks? I'm glad to have you on our team. Open the book. Matter Gem Production Version 2? System Instructions. Yo, this book reminds me of the Matter Gem Production Machine book. Notes. Stay at least three blocks away when activating. Potentially reversible. Allows for specialized Matter Gem. What's a specialized Matter Gem? Usable by non-test subjects. The scientists said that this would help us defeat Hades. If this is a matter gem that is usable by non-test subjects, does that mean I can use it? Does that mean the scientists can use it? One, build matter gem production V1. That must be the matter gem production machine that we've already built over in the other part of the lab, guys. Two, place ender eyes and power units, connect hopper, shulker box, half slabs. Oh my gosh. These are all the instructions to make version 2 of the machine, guys. Basically, from what I can tell, you have to build the version 1 and then add things to it. So it's like an upgrade kind of thing that allows you to get these specialized matter gems that are usable by us. Not really sure what that means just yet. Where are we going to get all this stuff? Is Oh, I have an idea. Maybe the scientist, I don't know, this is her lab after all. She should have stuff. Wait, Tessie, can you ask if like there's a storage room or somewhere we could get resources to build this machine? Yes. There is a room? Test Steve, can you ask her to show us? We need to get this stuff so we can get building this machine ASAP. They're talking. And hopefully the scientist says yes, fingers crossed. All right, cool. All right, what's the scientist doing? She seems to be, what is she doing? She's staring at the cells? To the, maybe because the cells are open? Is there something wrong with that? What's, wait, why is Test Steve pulling out the matter gem? Wait, what is he doing? Wait, what's going on? What is he trying to do? Yo, what the holy moly guys. What the? There's like a, there's a storage room behind here, guys. This is insane. There is a full-on storage room back here. Look at this. The scientist is looking at this chest. Does she want us to look in this chest as well? What's in this chest? Yo, guys, look at this. There's tons. There's so many resources in here. These are all the things we need to build Matter Gem V2. They're all in this chest. That is insane, guys. She's putting that aside. What is she saying? I need to grab something. I need test Steve to do it. Yeah, you guys will be fine. I'm sure you'll be fine. You can go grab whatever you need to be. Just come back here and check on me when you're done and then we'll set off the machine. Sound good? All right, cool. So now that we've finished it, guys, we just need to go ahead and make sure the scientist says it's okay. And then, uh, yeah, we should be good to go. Speaking of which, where is the scientist? And test Steve, they, like, they've been gone a really long time. Maybe they're having an issue with something, but I don't want to activate this machine without them just in case I have done something wrong and I want the scientist to check it over. I don't know, maybe the scientist is looking for something again. Are they in here? Yo, look, there's the scientist! Wait, where's testing? Wait, 
Why is Tess Steve inside the alley? Why is he shaking? Yo, what's going on? Why is he in there? What? What? Yo, what's going on? Why? Tess is one. What's going on? Why is he last close to Tess Steve? What's going on? Can you hear me? Can you get out? You can't get out, guys. Tess Steve, yo, what's going on? What? Scientists, what have you done? What have you done? Why is? What's going on? What is all that? Yo, guys, Tess Steve's skin. It's like corrupted. What? Yo, he's punching out. Scientist, what have you done? You've corrupted testing. What have you done? What is he doing? He's got the matter gym out. Yo, what? He's killing the scientist. He killed the scientist. He killed the Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, no. There might be time to run. Go. Go, go, go. Get out of here. We got to get out of here. We have to get out of here right now. Go, 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 go. Look at him. What in the world? And he just killed the scientist. What happened, guys? Like the scientist. He was inside the corruption outlet and then he was corrupted. Oh, no. Uh-oh. We've hit a dead end. Oh, no. We're, we're in a dead end. This is bad, we're stuck in this room. He's killing me. No, Testy, come on. Testy, surely you remember all our memories. Testy, no, Testy, don't do this to me. Testy, please, I'm gonna lose all the books. Testy, we're gonna lose everything. Testy, no, Testy. Flip, flip, flip. Everything's gone. I've literally lost everything. The scientist is dead. I've lost everything. All the instruction booklets of we've ever gathered are gone. We're gonna go ahead and make this specialized matter gem, whatever this is, guys, and go ahead. Hopefully that'll give us the matter gem powers and we'll be able to use them to somehow do something with them. I don't really know yet, but let's go ahead and see whether this machine works, guys. Ready? Three, two, one, pull the lever. Okay, all right, it's going. The machine is working. There's the matter gem, guys. There it is. The wall behind us is activated. Will we be able to use this? All right, let's dig it up, guys. Okay, there is the matter gem. Let's go ahead and pick this up. All right, there we go. Are we able to use this? Now, I know that Test Steve, when he uses it, he brings out lightning. So I'm going to stand a little bit back and let's see whether we use it, guys. This is the moment of truth. And all right, go. Um, I'm clicking my mouse and nothing's happening, guys. Maybe if I put it down... Pick it up. Oh no, it's not working, guys. Am I supposed to put something in the shulker boxes, guys? Maybe if I put like a power source or something inside the shulker boxes to power the pipe. So we're gonna put the matter gem into you guys and then run. So we go ahead and bang. All right, run, 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 run. Let's get away, let's get away. Yo, and it's, it's going blue. Yo, it's worse. Yo, the torches just turned off and they turned on again. Yo, what is going on? The matter gem turned into again. Yo, 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 the matter gem. Did the, is this the special matter gem, guys? Let's destroy it. Is this the right matter gem? I don't know, guys. Could this be the matter gem that worked? Yo, the matter gem just flashed inside my hands. I think it might work, guys. This could be it. This could be the working matter gem. I don't know. Let's turn off the machine, guys. I just would rather it be off than on. Okay, so it's gone back to normal. Here we go. Ready, guys? Three, two, one. Yo, this is insane. I, I... I threw the- I threw the matter gem and it just made fire, guys! Wait a minute! Test Steve's matter gem didn't do that, it brought down lightning! Does that mean there are different types of matter gems? I'm gonna make a ton of matter gems and I will be right back, guys! Alright, guys, so I'm just a little bit happier now because we're actually getting somewhere! And as you guys can see, I went ahead and made 10 more of these matter gems that we can use, giving us the matter gem powers. It took quite a while, and we've used them to break down doors, really. What can we use this matter gem for? Now, obviously, I think one of the first things that comes to my mind is we should have a look around this lab to see whether there's any doors or entrances or exits that we haven't explored yet, that have been blocked off, and I've kind of, like, haven't looked at them yet. We've kind of explored everywhere. I don't know any other doors that we can destroy. There's nothing we've missed here, except... Yo! We have never been past here. Is there anything up there? Yeah, look, guys. There's stairs up there. Throw the matter gem. Yo, it worked. Yo, we just blew up the door like Test Steve style. Yo, that is actually insane, guys. You reckon there's anything up there? Hold up. We're going to just get rid of this fire. Yo, this is awesome, guys. What's up here? We have never been up. I totally forgot about this area. Corrupted Test Steve could be up here or... Who knows what could be up here? I gotta protect myself. All right, guys, go up slowly. Yo, what is this? I've never seen a, what is that? I've never seen a machine like that before. Have you? I haven't. And then, yo, there's that weird red blinking eye that's in all the other rooms. And 
That's the same thing in the corruption outlet. What does that mean? I still don't get what that means. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think that means. But yo, what is this room, guys? What is this? There's a sign here. Matter furnace. I wonder what this is for, guys. This is also strange. This thing's huge. This is like a ginormous version of the matter furnace. And wait, yo, there's levers here. What does this say? Open result. Open source. Instructions. Resources connected to storage. What does that mean? Maybe we should pull the instructions lever. Here we go, guys. All right, three, two, one, pull the lever. Oh, yo! What just happened? I saw like books, did they? Yo, we have books inside Amber Tree. TS1 clone, TS2 clone, TS clone one and TS clone two. What do these books mean? They said instructions. What are these instructions for? TS clone one, T test subject cloning apparatus? Like we could clone test subjects? Could this be a way we could get testing back? And look, there are instructions to build this test subject cloning apparatus. This says resources connected to storage, like connected to the storage unit downstairs, guys. If we pull this lever, what happens? Um, yo, that wasn't there before. Hold up, wait a minute. Yo, look at this guy. I pull the lever and check that out. It opens up like a storage unit and that'll have all the resources we need to make this cloning apparatus. We're here. We may as well try it. So I've got the matter gems, guys. All we have to do is power on the matter's furnace. All right, so from memory, guys, we throw the matter gem at the power at the furnace and it should just turn on. That's what happened with the last one. So here we go, guys. Throw the matter gem. Yo, oh my gosh. Okay, the light is on. The matter furnace is on. Hopefully that is sending power into our cells right now, guys. I think that's the, I think we've done it right. Now the next step. It's to stand in source, guys. Okay. I don't know what's going to happen, whether this is going to kill us or not. But we're about to find out, guys. All right, here we go. Fingers crossed, guys. Here we go. Walking into the source. Okay, we've walked in. Yo, it's closed on me. What's going on? Look, the glass is on blue. There's like... Guys, is that me? What the... Um, you guys are seeing this right. That's me. Look, guys. This is... that. That's legit me. That is an actual clone of me. What? 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 Five. Leave for five days. It doesn't say to open up the results. So I'm not going to do that because I don't want to risk something going wrong. But we just got to leave it, guys. Finished here. Leave for five days. That's done. We're up to stage two, guys. So stage two. Step one was to clone me physically. Then we added the heartbeat. And now I guess we go in there, guys, and it's going to clone my conscience. Caution. Do not add sources in stage two or merging process will begin. Do not add sources. So I think that means is don't add like somebody else going into the cell or merging process will begin. All right, here we go. Activate the matter furnace and then we got to go ahead and enter there. So here we go. Three, two, one. All right, we've activated the matter furnace, guys. Our next step is to open up the source and head in there and stand for two minutes. All right, guys, open the source. There we go. I don't know whether I want to walk in there, guys. Who knows what's going to happen? I don't want to do this. Yo, what's going on? Why is that corrupt? What was that, guys? What just happened? Wait, what's that? Yo, that's corrupt Steve. Wait, what is he doing there? Wait, corrupt Steve? Wait, what? Wait, no, don't go in there, don't go down. No, no. Oh my gosh, that's not good. That is not what is going on. No, 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 no. Get out of there, corrupt Steve. What the flip are you doing? What is that? What is that? What is that? That's not me anymore. And corrupt Steve's gone. And it's, what is that? That looks just like me, but what is it doing? What is that? Oh my gosh. What is that, guys? Holy moly. What is that thing, guys? That's like... I, I, I don't even know right now, guys. It looks like me, but it's like red and black. Yo, it's like me, but it has the corrupt Steve colors. Yo, we need to get out of here. Well, oh my God. Oh my God. He's walked up the edge. It's like corrupt matter. What is going on? Yo, what is that? He's corrupting the room. I, oh my gosh. That is really dizzying, guys. What's going on? I've just got endless damage going on, right? I can't. Guys, this is bad. I, I'm, I'm trying to move, but I can't, I can't move, guys. I'm literally smashing my keyboard right now, guys. He's just scared. Yo, I'm moving, but... Yo, I'm not, I don't want to go in the cell. What's going on? He's blocked me up in the cell. Guys, I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. Quick. Why? I can't move my mouth, my keyboard. Nothing is working right now, guys. This is bad. He's gone. He's left the room. Wait, no. Normally, I'm able to destroy the glass. Maybe we can get out. Yes, we can get out. Now that he's not... Oh, my gosh. Don't stand the fire. 
Now that he's not in the room, he can't control us anymore. My keyboard and mouse are working again. Oh, thank goodness, guys. But we're going to have to try and get out of this room because the problem is, is I can't destroy any of the corrupt matter. Like, can I get out? Look, guys, I'm Diamond Pickaxe. I can't get out of this room. And look, I can't even destroy. Like, these what? I can't get out of here, guys. I am literally trapped in here, guys. We are literally strength. Yo, wasn't this the way that corrupt Steve came in? Do you think we could get out here? Yo, all right, let's try going out here. Oh, yo, no, we cannot go out here. What the flip? We get, we get like a wither effect. Like, I almost died. Okay, I'm going on a limb here, guys. But if we throw the matter gem at this cell, we should theoretically be able to blow it up. And then maybe we can blow enough of the room up to get to the actual stone underneath, dig out into the ravine, and I think just run. Three... Two, one, throw the manager. Holy flip, guys. It worked. Yo, we destroyed a hole. We've done it. We've destroyed a hole. We've made it through. Does this mean we can, can we dig out of here now? We can dig the stone. We've got this. All right, we need to get out of here ASAP. Yo, we're out in the ravine. Okay, we're out in the ravine. We need to just run to the village lab because I think that's the safest place we can be. All our resources there. So we've set up this resource um, kind of outpost that I've been using going back and forth from the village lab, guys, to get resources and all that kind of stuff in case my inventory is full like now. So let's go ahead and just kind of chuck this stuff in here that we don't need. Water bucket for sure. Now, I should have... Yes! We have all this... Okay, diamond sword. That's definitely... Ooh, bow for sure we need. We made it! We made it out of life! I can't believe... Yeah, guys, we need to get... Back to the lab. So let's go ahead and grab my horse socks right here, guys. Socks, you good? All right, socks is here, guys. Wait, that's evil. That's is he saying? That's evil in my stream. That's the that's the thing. Get on socks, socks. We need to go. We need to go. We need. To, can we go? We can't go that way. We can't go that way. Go 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 go. Okay, okay. Wait, the lightning stopped. He stopped. We're safe. We're safe. What do we do, guys? We can't go back that way. Evil EY stream is over there. Socks, don't go too far. Yo! Oh my gosh! Evil EY stream! No, don't kill Socks! Don't kill my horse! No! 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 What? We kill Socks? We need to run! We need to run! Wait a minute! What am I doing? We always run! We just got kitted up! I refuse to run anymore! We're gonna take this guy out! Yo! What is he doing? He's trying to run that me! Can we hit him? Can we hit him? Yo! We can hit him! We can hit him! Take down and join to him, guys! Oh my gosh! Alright, we're setting on fire! We need to keep our distance! Guys, we've got a bow, we've got arrows. Holy flip, he can throw corrupt matter. I've never seen what even this is that. Oh my gosh, and he could use lighting. What are these powers, guys? I've never seen these before. He's using serious. Oh my god, he's throwing corrupt matter. We do not want to touch this stuff, guys. I don't know what kind of effect that's gonna have on us. Go, okay. Ow! That hurt! We need to run. I'm done. We're getting it. Holy flip! What is that? Wait, is that another? Is that? Wait, is that the scientist? What is she doing? I thought she died. What is that? Wait, is she attacking Evil Ey Stream? Yo, she is. She is. This is. We can help her. I don't know why she's back or why she's helping us, but we can attack her. We can help. We can help. We can help, guys. This could be our chance. Let's wait. She's raining arrows on him. What? I've never seen this before. This is ridiculous. Yo, we can attack him too. Wait, what is that? Holy flip! What is that? He just went through a... And it's close. Can we follow? We need to follow him. Scientists, come on. Let's go. Can we go through here? Can we go? Wait. Come on. Come on. Come on. What? We can't. We can't go through here. What's going on? What is this? No way. 